Hey, is this thing on? Is this thing on? And we're back. Hey, there's Leslie. Uh, Bongs is here. Thank you for that $20, Eric Barlow. And John Smith says, cut that rug. Yeah, I took the, the, the dancing was out for, for a, a chunk of episodes there. And man, I was getting a lot of, a lot of comments about that. Bring the dance back. And it's embarrassing, but we need to have it up. Uh, Gino in the private chat saying, I hear you. I hear you. That's great. Uh, let me pin some things here so I can get that tab open. Oh, uh, thanks for that, John. Wasn't sure how, um, wasn't sure how well that video was going to do tonight because it was, it, the time travel part was, was pretty short. But, um, but when Gino was, was telling me the story about Sergey a week or two ago, uh, he, he grabbed my interest immediately. He, and he's like, look, it's, it's perfect. It's got time travel. It's got UFOs. It's got missing people. It's got, uh, and it had all the ingredients for a uh, Wi-Fi stew. Uh, Eric Barlow. Oh, someone is trying, uh, hang on a second to the producers. Someone is trying to enter the enter, but the studio is full. 12 people. Please ask someone to leave. If you'd like the new person to join or, Upgrade if you need more people backstage. So just <laughs> so you so you know, you're gonna pick. Who are all these people? I don't know. You invited them, not me. I, yeah, I don't know who. I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> oh my goodness! I must have put the put the wrong link around somewhere. You know what? You put it in the chat. We should probably I was, delete that. I saw StreamYard in the chat, and I was like, <laughs> "Oops." Well, that's cool. I, I mean, I think I might go to some of these folks just to see what's out there. I mean, X Barry <laughs> looks ready. Um, there's Cleve is here. I, I, I mean, Laura, Laura's there. It could be, it could be exciting. All right, can someone go delete that, or do you want me to go do it? Yeah, I don't. I didn't see it, so I don't know where. It was way up in the beginning. Um, mods, can y'all go look in the? That's crazy. That that happened. <laughs> well, I, you know, it's my fault. Well, but I, I don't really mind. I'm actually kind of curious because it feels like Art Bell. You know, when you just, you know, east of the Rockies, you're on the air, and then you don't know what's on the other end. Yeah, I was wondering but, why. I was like, maybe it's the other mods. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I was wondering. Who I thought I thought you guys like <laughs> brought all the mods in, but no, it's just it's just three thousand people trying to jump on. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. So look, if if you're waiting there in the lobby, if you don't have a camera, go ahead and jump off because I'm I'm not going to go to you. If you do have a camera, I'm probably not going to go to you, but I but I'm I'm still tempted. Um, my producers would, if they were smart, would warn me against just going, going, I'm making just, faces over here. You are, hang on. I can't, she's making faces. All right. Let me read a couple of these super chats. Oh, a couple of things before we get started here. Uh, someone left a uh, comment that made a good point. When we do our giveaways, instead of just jamming them all at the end, maybe if we're going to do, let's say three. We do it every every hour. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Gino, what are you in the car? Yeah, uh, driving on in. I'll be in in a few hours. <laughs> are, are you driving or is the Tesla driving? Tesla. Look, ma, no hands. <laughs> and that was the last time we ever heard from Gino. Stop that. I'm sorry, folks. I have a funeral to go to this weekend. <laughs> All right. All right, hang on, uh, and and I, I mean, I wish I could put the producers toward the top so I can see you, but I, I mean, I can see Do Dozer D nine is there, so Dozer, you're gonna have to stand in as a producer. Help me out, um, Eric. Hang on, I gotta make this. I can't see. I might, my, my even with the glasses on, it's just too 
Small. Eric Barlow, thank you for $20. Great show tonight, as always. Can't stay, but loves the show and would like to support in, in the little way I can right now. Well, I appreciate that, and I know times are tough. Um, a couple of people in Patreon they this week canceled, and they were so apologetic about it. But uh, but look, I totally get it. You know, it's uh, I, I, you go to the supermarket, you get five things, it's one hundred and fifty dollars. So I know I know times are tough, and if it's too expensive to super chat or join a Patreon, that that's totally fine. I get it. You'll be welcome back anytime. But if you do have the dough. Of course, support the Y files, but support ind independent creators wherever you can. It's really important. It's it's the only way we survive. Uh, Justin Kane, Connie, Connie, thank you for nine ninety nine. I wanted the story to be true so bad. I know, uh, you know, it's it was a great story, but it was time travel, so it can't be true because there is no time travel. But I, you know, I I want to believe Justin. And uh, uh oh. Here we go. And there's Paul, a hundred dollars. Whoa. I'm a fish, I'm a lover, I'm a freak in the covers, I'm a swimmer, I'm a saint. I do not feel ashamed. Uh Paul, thanks for another wonderful episode. Love the suspense when I've never heard of the topic before. I that's one of the best compliments I can get is if someone says first that they enjoy the episode, but second that they had never heard it. Um so the channel's getting bigger, and the chat is getting a little nastier. And maybe nasty is not the right word, but a little, a little, a little snottier. And it's definitely one of the downsides. I mean, I don't under, I don't understand why you would just type fake over and over in the chat. I don't know who that message is for. Um, it's time travel, so it's probably going to be debunked. Just chill out. Um, there's Tiffany Miller for 999. Need to mention me. No need to mention me. It's too late. I just want to send some love. Well, I appreciate that. And we always appreciate love when it's attached to a $10 bill. Scott F for the $10. Hey, AJ, the additional voice acting on your episodes. Are they additional actors or your voice digitally modified? P.S. Love my hecklefish mugs and stickers. And look, if you'd like to have your own hecklefish mug and sticker, just like Scott F. All right, let's get this out of the way. Last week, someone was saying that I'm doing too much merch plugging in the live streams. Um, and last week I didn't do that much plugging, but the thing is I'm kind of just doing a bit. I'm just doing a bit. I'm just looking for a segue in to do the merch. I mean, you should still buy the merch. I mean, it's a good mug. Remember you can fist this mug, but uh, that's all. And when I do the plugs, I only, I, I do it for 10 seconds. So yeah, I've got to make a living here, but thanks Scott. I appreciate, Appreciate uh, the support. Oh, uh, additional actors. That is my voice is uh, I, my, I do the male voices digitally altered a little bit. And Hecklefish does the female voices because he's a higher register. Uh, Q Bill TV. Thanks for the five dollars. Uh, love the channel and Hecklefish merch. Really think Hecklefish needs a word salad mug. What do you, do you think he word salads QB? Love new mug ideas. Um, I enjoyed his McConaughey impression. That tickled me. Um, I I wanted to talk about, uh, hey, man, you got a joint. I wanted to put that in there, but, you know, you can't. Uh, think about high school girls. I wanted to put that in there. You can't. But, uh, whoop, hang on. What's going on? I'm getting being summoned. Oh, she was just trying to get your attention from me. I was just going to say that we um, are actually going to, instead of plugging everybody else's YouTubes here in the chats, we're going to start doing like the Y Files reviews on the backstage channel. And so that chat is going to be the whole, the whole live is going to be us looking at other people's websites. <laughs> hey, um, Looking at other supporters' websites and, you know, helping them get new fans to their site so that it's, we can do it all at once because um, we also don't want to drag down the chat of people that are here to just talk about the episode. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Right, AJ? All right. 
right? Laying down the law. Well, why do you mention that? Are there, are there some folks looking for plugs already in the chat? Um, uh, yes. So, but I also <laughs> kind of wanted to just cut it off the yeah, pass. So that way we can, we can all get together and we can all take a look at everybody else's sites and talk about what we like. And if it's a music side, the kind of music and, you know, it can be more of a, a community building chat as opposed to um, the live where we're talking about the episodes and answering questions. There she goes. Anna Cleves, thank you for the 125 of those. I don't know what those are, but I appreciate having so many of them. It was such a great episode. Hi from the Philippines. Hi, Philippines. What time is it in the Philippines? Minus, minus six. Is it tomorrow there? Is it yesterday there? It's a time travel episode. Tech Grub, two dollars. Great work and perfect story pick. Hey, that's you know that's 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 Gino's story. He's uh yeah thumbs up thumbs up. It, whenever Gino comes on screen, it's going to be either a thumbs up, a close up of his ear, or just empty empty frame. That's you know you know that's what that's what I'm talking. About. That's everyone's got a trademark. Um, could you use a little manscaping in there? Kevin Hutchins, thank you for the twenty dollars. Another amazing episode. I'm glad you liked it. Um, I'd like to. I think there's that was maybe our fifth time travel episode. I want to. I want to do more of those. All right, hang on. Let me see if I could bring up the chat over here. So I'm not just reading the super chats, which. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try. Um, who do you see? Daisy Dead Petals. Uh, she's there. She's also, was also um, hanging around in the lobby <laughs> where I posted the link. Uh, Charles Morton is there. Good to see you. I love your restaurants. Nicholas Logan. Point Nemo. Brian Wasili Wowski. Wet, sticky, smelly. I, all right. You know, let me get out of there. I regret it every time. Alec Hill, thank you for twenty dollars. Another great episode. Much love from Minnesota. Well, thanks, Alec. That's what I'm talking about. Murph loves time travel and alternate dimension stories best. Four A episode. Another awesome adventure. Oh, very nicely done, Murph. Uh, some alliteration, alliteration for the uh, for the fans. Um, Emperor Machine has joined the chat. There's John Pearson uh, talking about the Mug Fisters Club. Martin O'Brien's here. Physicist friend, Zeb Francis, Johnny Scythe. Denver Airport. I know, I know, I know. So many people want to see the Denver Airport, but it's it's it keeps getting pushed down because it's such a common story. It's really the only reason. But uh, I, I'm going to have to just give into it. Kakupa, Denver Airport. I saw at least three or four people ask for it uh, during the episode. David Flowers wants to talk about Mars. Okay. S. Jack Jansen can't donate money. I'm or too, too poor to afford a P on his keyboard. Brenda Prey Steps, thank you for $2. Do you believe timelines exist simultaneously? That's a great question. Um, you know, I, I believe simulation theory almost wholeheartedly like i'm all i'm almost fully fully invested in that one especially after researching it and the uh, and the double slit experiment you know when 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 i'm researching the episodes i only put in a fraction of what i find so for simulation theory that episode could have easily been an hour of all the weird stuff that's in our existence that makes you think it's a simulation. And if, if you start paying attention to it in your own life, you're going to see it. You're going to see it also. You're going to see that you're going to be thinking about maybe or you're on Facebook and for some reason you're on a friend's page that you haven't thought about in years. And then suddenly they call or they, they DM you or something. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, you, you lose something. This happens to me all the time. You lose something around the house or you need something and you just kind of think about it and there it is. Like the secret, you know, put stuff out there, 
put energy out, get energy back, or however that works. It's the simulation. But can that work with multiple realities? I mean, it can. I just, thinking about it from the simulation's point of view, if it's code, then is there infinite versions of the code? I, you know, I don't know about that. My instinct tells me, Brenda, that yes, that's what my instinct tells me. My, my emotional instinct, my logical thinking brain it tries is trying to solve it. It's trying to do it right now as I'm talking to you. It's trying to figure out how how could it work? How could it work? Simulation theory and sim, it's because it's it's like many worlds. Right, many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics connected to simulation theory. Maybe that's a video. But I appreciate the support, Brenda. Um, look, if I go too far down a rabbit hole, then you, then just let me know. I'm looking at the chat. I'm looking at, at the starred comments. I'm looking at the producers. Uh, this is Uwu for five dollars. Video on this being a prison planet, Loosh Farm. Gnosticism would be much appreciated. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. Drop it in the suggestion box, human. So if there's a topic that you want to hear, I, I say the outro of the video is so often that I just go into automatic mode. If there's a topic you want to hear or learn more about, go to the yfiles.com slash tips. So suggestions here are fine. And, uh, of course, super chatting for money is fine, but the best way to get to get tips into my brain is through the tips line. You could put them here. You can email me. That's all fine. I read everything. But when you submit a tip on the tips line, it, it's there. You know, it's in the spreadsheet that I can go to. Oh, my goodness. X Barry is back. Yeah, I think we all need to uh, get those ears, those light up ears. So. Um, Prison Planet, these are good, actually good suggestions. I've heard that Prison Planet theory around. I don't know enough about it. Initially, I think it's, I almost said stupid, and then I'm like, no, dumb, and then really uh, unlikely is probably the word. But I said that about the hollow moon, and uh, I'm, I'm moon-pilled. So Prison Planet, we'll look at it. Stefan, Stefan, Stephanie, I, look, I see your name every week. I can't pronounce it. But I know the word radio. $10 Canadian. Hey, Jay, this was a cool episode. Love the epilogue. Very positive message. Well, thanks, Stephane. It's, uh, you know, an episode about time travel got, got me thinking about time is really all that was. And um, when you think about time, especially as you get older and older and older, it, it starts to make you a little bit more, I don't know, melancholy, I guess. Introspective. And when you're a kid, you don't really think about it. Remember, summers lasted forever. But as you get older and time speeds up, you start realizing that there are more days behind you than ahead. And then that's that's why I just kind of I wrote that kind of in that in that mood. And look, I wasn't with that message. I wasn't trying to be sanctimonious or um, overly dramatic. I really wasn't. A lot of that message was for you, but it was also for me to remind myself because I get anxious, I get in my own head, I get, uh, I, I'm a mess. So a lot of that message was reminding myself to just chill out. It's all going to be okay. So I'm glad that that message uh, resonated with you, Stefan. Steely, $5, great show. Love the Ukraine connection. So if you could travel once, what time and place would you choose? That's such a hard question because if I could travel once, I'd really like to just keep doing it. So that's a really hard question. May, probably, I'd like to see if there is, I'd like to go to ancient Egypt, but like ancient, ancient Egypt. I'd like to go there, you know, before the Younger Dryas event, the flood and all that. I'd like to go there just to see if it's true or like Gobekli Tepe. But I'd really like to see, see Egypt, to see what, uh, what the Sphinx looked like before or to see what the pyramids looked like when they were new. Like when they cut the ribbon, like when, when the mayor came down and cut the ribbon on the pyramids, I'd like, to, I'd like to see that. 
So if that's the one, that's what I would pick. But what would what would you guys pick? Let me put up the chat. Static Spud, the Wayback Machine. Um, thought you were getting political. I was not. Mandela Effect, awesome movie. Just saying, okay. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I'm trying to go to the chat, but it's you guys are weird in there. Um, Doctor Who, did you uh, ask me if I checked out the Brompton time machine? I have not. I have not. If um, put that on the tips line, uh, Stephen Flores, yes, sir. Ancient Egypt before the Young Adrias is only answer. LOL. Yeah, yeah because it would it sure would settle a lot of arguments. But my gut tells me there was something there. Um, bum, bum, bum. All right, Steely. Yeah, I'm not getting political about Ukraine. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'm not a fan of Russia either way, but Ukraine. Eh. Eh. Not a big fan of it. One thing all fish know is the only way to not get caught is to keep your mouth shut. All right, fair enough. Wojo, um, I time traveled to the near past and meet myself. I was so surprised I was beside myself. I don't know. Is that a haiku or what is that, Wojo? Uh, Glenn Gargiulo, the Viking Real Tour for $10. Shameless plug for my channel if you like walking through strangers' homes. All right. Now, Glenn Gargiulo, the Viking Real Tour, I'd like to call your channel up. I'd like to do it. But the, uh, the the producers will get mad at me. But I'm going to check it out later. I'm interested in Viking stuff. Uh, in my mind, it all just looks like God of War. Uh, Spliff Tachyon. That's a good name. Uh, I saw the missing Thunderbird photo. I know I did. I'd like to see the Thunderbird photo. You know how I feel about cryptids. David, fine. Thank you for the $20. I had a feeling it was fake. just seemed a bit sus. How about a deep dive into crop circles some week? Uh, crop circles, I'm trying to find the angle, David, fine. Because that's they've been covered for, you know, forever. So I have to I have to find a way to make that interesting to um to you and new people that know all about it. I don't know how to do that yet. But uh but I appreciate the support. There's Natalie for $2. First time listener, long time caller. Well, I appreciate the tip, Natalie. And I love the radio speak. It takes me back. Flying high on the wings of Y105. Let's now go to the request line. Hello, Victoria. You're on the air. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there she goes. Demonic Hordes, $5. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Like we do every week, brother, here to support you. Black Eyed Kids, do it! Black Eyed Kids is a great episode. Not a lot on the visuals, right? Because no one's ever taken a picture of them. So all the visuals that I'm finding, all the photos are just Photoshop stuff. Now, I guess I could probably do that. But then I'm just, I'm really just telling, you know, telling a tale. I'm spinning a yarn. There's no debunking at the end of that. There's, they're really... You know, black eyed kids, either the people who saw them are, are lying or there are really children that go door to door with just black eyes trying to get into your home. So we have to hope for the former. But if you don't know who the BEKs are, um, if you see them like through your, your ring doorbell, don't let them in. Don't. Don't do it. Oh, you were saying don't do it because sometimes she gives me this if I'm saying something I shouldn't. Oh, no. I'll so, she, for it. I'll so, so she was just saying don't. Uh, look, I mean, it, it, <laughs> the, this goes on for a long time. I, I keep I keep it moving. If she takes a breath. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Um. Whoa, Jesus is here, forty nine ninety nine. How are my favorite Gentilly's doing? Good, I hope. Can't wait to see what's next. And then there's a weird box character. I wonder what it was. wonder what it was. Thanks, Jesus. I'm glad that we're your favorites. It's Gentilly or it's Gentile. 
Sometimes it was Gentile. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Oh, here's both of both, both these games is back. It's good to see you, both of these. $5. I just want to plug my YouTube channel, both of these games, and say great episode tonight. I'm not allowed to plug channels tonight. I mean, we could plug it like this. Everyone go check out both of these games on YouTube. Go like and subscribe and comment and share and all that stuff. Um, but we are going to be doing a stream where we just plug and review uh, your channels. And when I say review, I mean roast. <laughs> I mean, I'll give you tips, uh, pointers if I can. You know, thumbnails should change, do this, do that. But, um, but I mean, if your channels, if, if, if I open your channel and jokes start writing themselves, I, 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 got, I got to go with the jokes. But it's all done with love. Eric Mick, thank you for the $2. I just started watching your channel. Love it. Well, welcome aboard, Eric. And this is what we do almost every Thursday night. I don't know what this is, but I have been um, reliably informed that I need to keep doing these. Uh, D. Grisham, thank you for the ten dollars. Chiggity chiggity ching. Um, thanks for another entertaining story. Glad you brought the dance back during Patreon fan credits. Not sure why, but it's one of my favorite parts of your videos. Um, yeah, I mean, when the I took the dance out and and people got upset. Very. Yes. You know, what happens is uh, I, 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 I got to get, I got to get them out of the way just for a second, just for a second. What happens is with, uh, when you're a, I hate YouTuber, but when you do this and you get a lot of comments, 99% of them are, are super nice, just super nice. Like what you guys are saying here tonight. And 1% of them are super mean, but the one, the mean ones are what you remember. Uh, like in the premiere tonight, there were, I don't know, 16,000 people in the chat, but there was like one or two kind of douchey dudes that I got rid of. Um, and their comments, like I, I, I'm still thinking about them with a little part of my brain, like annoyed. It's just, um, it's, it's called negativity bias. If you know, if you're into psychology and it's very, very true, especially for someone like me or people that people that run channels, you know, like mine, which is basically an entertainment channel, the personality profile of this type of person is insecure, narcissist, you know, all that stuff. We're all like that. So the comments hit and someone said something about the dance being stupid at some point. And I was like, oh man, I know it's stupid, but it's supposed to just be goofy. So I got rid of it. I mean, that's how much power you have when you're mean. All right, what do we got here? Paul is back from, whoa, $50. Gino, great driving with your knees. He's not driving with his knees. It, his Tesla is, is just is driving him across the, uh, the desert right now. But I see, I see his window down below, his producer window, so I know he's, he's still okay. No, no, I can't. I'm not putting that on the screen. It's got a little of the wacky weedus. Uh, Craig S. Papa, let's play drums. Take your requests. Thank you for the twenty dollars. I'm assuming that was a a plug, channel plug. If not, it's you know it's a it's a great username. Um, this is Percy T. McGillicuddy's old timey timber journey. Nobody's gonna mention this username, huh? Yeah, I, it's pretty crazy. Um, my full name on here should read Extravaganza at the end, but I ran out of characters to use. Blessings to Lord Hecklefish. Um. Yeah, you wanted it to be longer than that? Percy T. McGillicuddy's old-timey timber joinery. I don't know what that is. Looking at Gino's window now, it's just, it's just smoke. Just smoke. That's all that is. Stop. Uh, Antonio Alvarado, thank you for the $10. Navy pilot saw a shooting star turn into a UAP. It went into formation with six other UAPs. Source, Merged, Podcast, Ryan Graves, dude who saw the gimbal interview with Mark Halsey. Hey, Antonio, um, send me that link in the tips line. I'd like to check that out. Yeah, I'd like to see that. In the, um... Uh, Alan, Alan Tacitus is now joining us in the, in the lobby. Uh, um, so like Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are so intense on getting the episode ready that I'm completely out of the loop with everything. 
you know, if there's Chinese balloons or lanterns or whatever it is they send, I, I'm not aware of it until like, like Friday morning. So if, if this is new, Antonio, I'm, you know, I, I'm out of the loop. Shadow Jedi, thank you for the 999. Continuing our discussion from last week. Oh, we never landed on whether, uh, whether or not we're gonna, gonna the zero energy video. Also, you said it would take a bit to explain. We all agreed it would be okay with a 45 minute video. Did we all agree on that, Shadow? Um, did we, did we take a round table vote on a 45 minute episode. I Chihuahua. Um, so I'm looking at a topic right now that is kind of zero kind of zero point energy it's about a new patent that was filed by a, a physicist i think he's a physicist working for the united states navy a patent just hit that sounds really interesting um and it includes some zero uh zero point energy technology so i'm going to look at that patent tonight and then see what i can dig up but hopefully that scratches your itch I don't know if I could do 45 minutes, tell me. There's Rob and Tiffin, Tiffany. Thank you for the $10. Uh, through a glass darkly for $25. Um, AJ, great show. Is <laughs> AJ, great show as always. Before you decide to cancel this racket, if you wouldn't mind giving my show a little love, I'd really appreciate it. The struggle is real. Um, my producers won't let me plug uh, through a glass darkly, but everyone should go to that channel right now and like, comment, subscribe, and share. That stuff really helps out the channel. Uh, and the problem with the this rule is I'm so curious. I want to see the Viking channel through a glass darkly. I mean, how can you not want to look at... Uh-oh, here we go. You can go look trouble. at the channels. I'm just saying what happened no. last week... No, because if I look at one, I need to look at all of them. It's well, that's what's what fair is it's fair yeah. is fair. So, uh, but you know, I'm trying to heap on the praise and keep them on the screen a little longer. So, if you want to, if you're interested in through a glass darkly, that you can go over there and hopefully his subscribers are going through the roof. Yeah, I mean, I love the name. I'm curious about what it is. Right. Yeah, I mean, people people are dropping off the live stream like mad going to check it out right now. Look, look at how beautiful she looks tonight, doesn't she? Oh, well, thank you. All right. Better to be seen and not heard, right? Uh, Deidre L, 299 Australian, loves the channel. I'm a Patreon member too. Hugs. Thank you, Patreon member Deidre. Uh, I spent most of my afternoon answering Patreon messages. I hope one of them was yours. I didn't finish. I have 93 to go. Um, so pay, if you email me, I, I read everything. I can't reply to everything. But Patreon members, I the intent is to reply to every single message. I haven't been good about it the last couple of weeks. I admit that. But uh, if you've been following these live streams, you know I'm a little I'm tired. So, uh, but I had some time to kill today as because I had to re keep re-uploading tonight's video over and over. Um, so I've just, I just had time to kill while the videos were rendering. I thought I would say hi to our Patreon members can do this without you guys. There's John Odette. Thank you. It's $20. The dude, 87, $5, Matt and Megan say hello from Connecticut. Well, hi, Matt and Megan. And, uh, who, uh, who's that in the avatar? Is that, is that Matt or is that James Dean? Victoria's leaning in. She's saying, yes, James Dean. Correct answer. Survey says. Abdul Al Al Hodel for ten dollars. Thank you for that. Jeff Wallace, great show. I didn't see a lizard people shirt in merch. Any chance of them in the future or past or theoretically? That's a great question. All right, um, let's see what's going on. Didn't see a lizard people. Oh, you know what? There might not be. Now that I think of it. I don't think we have a Lizard People t-shirt. That's a huge fail. While we're here, look at all these other t-shirts. 20 bucks. Hoodies are back. So look, if you want to support your favorite YouTube channel right now, you can go to shop to the yfiles.com right now. Get yourself one of these great t-shirts. Get a, one of these coffee mugs. Hecklefish for presidents there. Here's the cartoon mug. That's pretty cool. Um, Fear the Crab Cat. 
Fear the Crab Cat was, was our second. This mug was the second biggest seller on the last 30 days. Fear the Crab Cat mug. And then there's a and there's Mr. Naughty. But that's that's something just for us. All right, Jeff, I'm going to work on that. Got to have a lizard people t-shirt. Need a better design though. If anyone wants to design that, go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that. It was like I didn't draw that. That was that was a uh, one of our fantastic Patreon members did that. So if you can make a great t-shirt, I'm into it. Email me aj at thewifefiles.com. There's Mike Goad or Goad. Remember him from last week. Goad family here again. Pronounced like Toad. Okay, got it. See, there you go. Give me a pronunciation. Mike Goad, the Goad family is here again. Great episode. Lexi, the young one. Hey, Lexi, says her favorite stories are the more macabre. She loves the show. And Lexi, dropping a little of those French words in there. She loves the macabre. Macabre. Did I, did I, did I pronounce that right? Yeah, I can't. You know, I can't trill my R's. So go ahead and go ahead and try and trill it. Nope. R r rolling r writer. R r r do you remember? Do you remember? Remember the rolling writer commercials? No. Yeah, she's too young. She doesn't. All this <laughs> stuff is way, way before her time. Way before her time. So I know some of you guys out there remember the rolling writer commercials. Adel Stanley, two dollars. You always do a good job with the videos. Well, thanks, Adel. 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 Hold on a second. What is this? And times two hundred dollars. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Human. I want you to know I said human. Thank you for all the dough. Tipping. As I'm sure you will find. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's fun to tip the F I S H. It's fun to tip the F I S H. I I wanted to see if you were going to keep going. <laughs> there was going to be going to be a, a, a dancing encore. End times, thank you for that very, very generous tip. Couldn't do this without you. Becky Ward, a big supporter of the channel, 999. The video had it all, loved it. What's your favorite time travel story? By the way, I love my Hecklefish Spirit Animal shirt. I don't think you plug the merch too much. Well, I appreciate that. And look, if you'd like to have your own merch, no, I'm just kidding. Um, favorite time travel story. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of too much on the spot for it. Really, there's so many. Let me think about that, Becky, because there are, there, there are so many good ones. Um, I mean, even time after time was super cool, wasn't it? Was it that's time after time? Is that right? Was it Christopher Reeve, 1980? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, that, did you ever see that movie, time travel movie? I did. It's been a very she long time. She doesn't. She doesn't remember it. When, when, I love when, that when uh, when Jen hasn't seen something, it's either she never has not seen anything. She's seen everything. But when Jen hasn't seen something, it's I've seen parts of it, or I haven't seen it in a long time. That's true. Right. I do say that. Uh, so. So time, it was time after time, right? Christopher. Some, somebody saying they're saying it's somewhere in time, somewhere in time. That's right. Based on the book. So this was a cool time travel story. But I'm good. Should I keep you on? Sure. Well, I, well, I describe this movie. Yes. I mean, you like the movie. It's cause it's, it's a love story and it's, a, and it's a, it's a cool love story. And of course, Christopher Reeve is, everyone's a huge fan of his. Um, so Every time travel story is, you know, the machine. You build the machine and, you know, it's uh, 1.21 gigawatts or HG Wells. It's always a machine. But in somewhere in time, he travels back in time just using his mind. He, he oh. like meditates. He meditates. Or <laughs> Let me get those random O's out, out of there. Um, so he meditates or hypnotizes himself. And just keeps thinking over and over about the time that he wants to appear in, and and it works. 
I thought it was such a cool concept. Something that, that um, Gino brought up to me last week was sort of a theory that's kind of around that you can time travel with your mind. And it made me, you know, made me think of the Christopher Reeve movie somewhere in time. So, um, yeah, if you're into time travel stories and you haven't seen that one, that is actually a super fun movie. I hope that's. I hope you got your nine ninety nine worth, Becky Ward. I, I I'm going to keep thinking about it because I I would keep I would talk about time travel this whole stream. What? I smell something in here, and I wonder if I have the heat. I I've got the space heater on because this place, right? No heat. It's freezing. <laughs> um. But it's 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 that little aggressive cube heater, and I I'm I wonder if I have it on like a a surface that would be ill advised. So you smell burning. You don't smell the I, wax that you spilled on the carpet. I don't. You see what she did there? You see that shot? You see her take a little shot. Victoria, so you saw the you saw the passive aggressive shot. Yeah, she saw it. No, it's not the wax that I spilled on the carpet totally accidentally, but not my fault, though I paid for the carpet. So what's the big deal? It's the heater <laughs> that's sitting here that keeps this room warm. I'm just worried that Speaking I have something. Passive aggressive. Well, I have a black belt in passive aggressive. Oh, wait, hang on. PC for $20. Hecklefish needs a tinfoil hat mouse pad. That's a cool idea. Resist the urge to plug. Resist the urge to plug. You can do it. You can do it. Chris Doheny, official channel, two ninety nine Australian. Chris Doheny, official channel. Not, uh, I'm not permitted to go there. But look, everyone should go there right now. Chris Doheny, official channel, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. That stuff really helps out the channel. Blackbeard, longtime supporter of the Y Files for ten dollars. Great video. Always excited when a new video is released. And is that the Union uh, Jack with there? Not the Union Jack. What is? It? Oh, hold on, hold on. Look, if you watch the the trailer for the video tonight, I said the live streams are a mess. I said it. So if you're watching, going, wow, this guy is all over the place. It's really not professional. I, I know. I said that going in. Asher Master, thank you for the ten dollars. You know the deal. Great video as always. We need more on lost ancient civilizations and precision going into megalithic structures. That's a great idea. I, I, we're due for an ancient mystery. Um, we've got one in the hopper that I don't think it's fully baked yet, but we do have one in the hopper, ancient Egypt. But uh, but the precision, yeah. It, there's no way to explain that stuff. If you... um. I'm assuming you saw it already, Asher Master, but the Tesla pyramid video, I spent a good chunk of time talking about the accuracy of the, of the pyramid, how close, how accurate the angles are and the relationship of the diameter and the height of the pyramid, how it relates to their circumference and the radius of the earth. So there's crazy math in that, in that video, but yeah, we can definitely get into that. Tech Prime Media, $5. Great show again. Are you going to cover any uh, more ghost haunting stories in the future? Yeah, I have a couple of ghost stories that I want to talk about. Um, people, dead folks, I guess that's what ghosts are. Um, dead ghosts, tautology. Uh, dead ghosts calling people from wherever they are. So like uh, the guy who was on the Amtrak train in Southern California. That derailed his phone ends up calling everyone, all his loved ones. And uh, even though it was determined that he was killed on impact, so that was weird. And there are there are a couple of voicemails that exist, like they're really they like you could really hear them of uh this this again, you assume he's dead, but this he's a dead um parapsychology researcher, a ghost researcher who worked with his partner. I don't remember their names and I probably should because the story was great. Uh, and one of them died and he was calling his partner. So I don't know if that's irony, but yeah, the 
they were researching communication from the grave and they actually experienced it. And there's audio of that because you hear me say all the time, yeah, I don't want to do a video that's probably fake if I if there's no pictures of it or anything like that because then I'm just telling a yarn, right? I'm just spinning a tail. It's nice to have something grounded like, oh, there's the voicemail. Now, of course, that could be fakes, but I don't think it is. So I'm, you know, I'm torn on this one because I don't believe in ghosts, but there's something about these stories that are really, it's really, it's really, compe really compelling stuff. And there's another story I found on Reddit about um, this guy's dead girlfriend is just sending him like Facebook messages and uh, taking pictures of him, like from different parts of the house. I mean, I'm assuming it's fake. But it's just it's just so well put together. It's one of those Reddit threads that you know you stay up for an hour just reading every comment because you don't want it, the story to end. It was one of those. I, I and I I screenshotted and saved the whole thing. I was like, this is it's a brilliant narrative. So, Tech Prime Media, I'd like to do I'd like to do that episode. I don't know if I don't know if I have. I I guess I I really have to see what the what you guys like, you know, I, <clears throat> the, the audience members that I hear from are the ones that I hear from. So you, you sitting here in the live stream, I know what you want to see videos of because I, I read them. You super chat them in and, um, comments on the, on the videos on the channel. I read all that stuff. So I know what, what you want to see, but it's still a very small portion of the audience. So I don't know if people would like a ghost story, but I think maybe I just have to do one and see how it lands. I just have to figure out a way to bring it back to logic and science. We could do it. Christopher Todd Tech, two bucks. AJ Lydia said, thank you for the birthday wishes. Well, you're, you're welcome, Lydia. Um, Hecklefish sent Lydia a, uh, uh, birthday. He, he sung a happy birthday to her. Oh, that's nice. It's Christopher. He's a Patreon member. And, um, I think I, Chris, how, how old uh, did Lydia turn eight today or nine? Was that what it was? Aww. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> what? I didn't wait. I didn't know if you were going to start crying or no, but look, some of them are so, Wait a second. Heartwarming. Like, um, like some of these, I can't even take them. Uh, if I, you're new, go ahead. No, I was just going to say they're, um, they're adorable. Some of these kids in their, their Y files merch rep in the channel. So if you're new to the channel, um, if you, I mean, if you're, I mean amazing. It, it, if you uh, if you buy merch, take pictures of yourself uh, wearing it or or using it around the house, so we can get you up there. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? No, that is right. Adorable, cute. All right, the heck, heckle guppy. I can't. I can't even take it. No. So we've we've started. Um, all right, I'll talk to you later, hon. Okay, bye. Uh, so if you're if you're uh, been following the end credits, and I don't know if anyone sticks around for those, I try to make them fun. I mean, at least up until the end, end. But there's always a, a hecklefish joke in there, mostly. So anyway, if you uh, if you're sending your picture in, then you'd be in the episode. Classic. Went to Mel's Hole and all I got was this magic seal fetus. What I love about that is there's no explanation. There's no Wi Files logo on there. There's nothing. The, he, you just walk around with that shirt and just look at the, at, and the looks you get, just the what? There's Hecklefish out there uh, protecting and serving the couple of, um, couple of the men in blue. All right, there we go. Where are we? Uh, Philippa the thespian. <clears throat> That's thespian. I, 
uh, ten dollars. Uh, never too much plugging when it's amusing. Um, yeah, I, you know, if I could see the channels just even just thirty seconds in advance, so I can get my brain thinking about what what's funny about <laughs> about the channel. There will be there will be comedy, but uh, if I'm on the spot, it's you know. I, I'm not as not as quick as I used to be. Uh, best part of Wi Files is how you tell the story, which shows why some believe before you pop a dose of reality on us. Ignore the haters. <laughs> thank you for the thank you for that, Philippa. That was that was a challenge to read, but I got it. I think I got it. It's you can't ignore the haters. I'm too insecure, but I'm glad you're out there, Brian uh, Melda. Mel, uh, missing is he missing a a, a, a vowel? Enjoy the episode. Loving the lizard people and crab cat mugs. All right. All right. I, I don't have a lizard people mug. Just the crab cat. Resisting plugging the merch. Resisting. Uh, heart ponder for 1999. Boom goes the dynamite. Thank you, human. Story idea. Paul McCartney died mid-60s. Clues in the album. Now a double. Yeah, this, this is one that's been around for a long time. The, uh, the Paul is dead. Uh, urban legend and there is so many clues that that indicate that paul is is dead like um like an abbey road he's the only one barefoot walking across the crosswalk you know and at least during this time you were buried barefoot he's also the only one wearing a suit and um i think it's on sergeant pepper's sergeant pepper's album there's a hand behind Paul's head, which in some cultures is a symbol for death. And some songs, I don't remember which song it was, but if you play it backwards, it sounds like Paul is dead. Paul is dead. I can't think of the song, but there's a lot more of those. The only reason I've avoided, so clearly I'm aware, heart ponder, of this urban legend. It's a good one because there's so much more. But um I don't know how many people are into the the Beatles. So, you know, maybe I have to start taking risks with the channel. I just just doing them just to I didn't I didn't catch her monster yawn. Just 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 monster. Um yeah, I don't know how many I I don't know if I should just say screw it, we're doing we're doing the Beatles. We're doing Paul McCartney is dead and just throw it up there and see how it goes. It's just once, since I have a little bit momentum, I'm terrified to lose it. Craig S. Papas, let's play drums. Take a request for another ten dollars. Thanks for that, Craig S. Papas. Martin S. Five dollars, New Zealand. Thanks, Wi Files. Great channel, loving. Thanks, Martin S. Dave G. Ten Canadian also loves the episodes. Patrick Duncan's there. Ten dollars. He enjoyed the episode as well. Uh, no, no one's sending in money for hating the episode, which is a good sign. The Lazy March, ten dollars. Great episode. So, um, love the ending and Lord Hecklefish. All right. Is now stuck in my head and don't worry about the fake comments. Uh, they don't know if a talking goldfish is real or not. That's true. Did you hear him say, all right, at the, like during the credits, comedy comes in threes, true Hetwer, $5. Uh, love your channel. Love watching it every Thursday. It has become a tradition since we stumbled upon your channel. Stay amazing with love. The Hetwers. Hi, Hetwers. I love it being a tradition in a household. It just it just warms my little heart. I love that. Does it warm your heart as well? It does. It warms my little heart. And heart. there, go ahead. Do you you got it? Yeah, oh Victoria God. makes it. She Victoria makes it look easy, doesn't she? Yes, she does. <laughs> my dumb fingers don't want to. All right. No, all right. Go easy on her. Um, those are the Hetwers. Lemur for 202 appreciates the show. Rock the Roids? You're cool. I don't know. Does he mean just steroids? Do you think I'm juicing? Or are we talking about my hemorrhoids again? Either way, either way, I appreciate you, your concern for my back area georgia george george fox lover ten dollars canadian love all of hecklefish's impersonations and one-liners well uh you know he certainly agrees i like it i like it a lot yeah pete 
He agrees, Georgia Fox lover. Maxi Coleman for 90th. Oh, those are Ar- Argentinian. What are they? What do you got down there? I'm always so embarrassed that I don't know because I feel like I know so much about other cultures and countries, at least compared to the average American. And then I realize that I don't and I'm embarrassed and I, it makes me feel very American centric. So, you know, I'm a white male born in New York city in the United States of America. I'm clearly the center of all things. So, um, so it actually makes me feel pretty bad, Maxi Cohen, because I know that I'm actually not. LMK for two pounds. Great ep. Are we doing the eight for the for the ATE now? Okay. Great ep. It's in my brain now, so I, I can translate it a little more quickly. BlackRock are rebuilding um, Kiev into a mega city. I, just, I really want to see Kiev. I really want to say it. Um, but you can't say that anymore. BlackRock rebuilding it into a mega city. That's interesting. That would be a great video, not for YouTube. Abdul Al Hodel's back for another ten dollars. Let the fish do the shilling. Do the web bots as an episode. You know, I uh, Abdul. There's a video on the channel about the dead internet theory. I don't know if you saw it, but I cover a lot about the bots in that in that episode that I think you might like and how click farms work and it's a creepy one. There's uh, Jeffy Spiegel for $10. Ooh, five more dollars, and you get a private dance. Hey, can we talk about the Ed? Et, 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 can we talk about the Ed Adolfa? Uh, also, you do amazing work. Like Hecklefish, no, my girlfriend gives amazing goldfish massages. Whoa, I don't know what those are, but they sound. <laughs> are you massaging a goldfish? Is that what yeah, that is? You have to be very careful. Oh, you can't rub them like that. I'm sorry. I, you show me how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> you gold not gonna, expert. Not going to do that. Whoa, this is one smart human. Are you sure you're not hot goldfish? I'm not going to masturbate the goldfish. Anyway, I don't know what the editofa edit is, Jeff Spiegel. But drop in the tips line. And look, if you're new here, welcome. But it's something I'll say every week. I'm not an expert in any of these topics. I consider myself an entertainer who researches a lot. I talk to a fish. So if you know, I, if you hit me with the Paul is dead urban legend, I know that one. But there's, for the most part, I don't. I don't spend a lot of time on weird YouTube. I don't really read UFO Twitter. Um, I don't go down the Rumble rabbit holes unless I'm researching. I, you know, I just kind of don't. I'm interested in the stories. Um, but when I'm watching them, I'll just, you know, I'll watch one, you know, I'll throw on a, a, a Corsetti video, you know, watch him talk about Atlantis for 15 minutes. And then I'm kind of, I'm kind of good for a while. And then, you know, Graham Hancock will come along. I'll watch that. But for the most part, I really don't know the the topics, um, Jeffy Spiegel, but there's Gilmar Torres. Thank you for the $3 super sticker. John is here. Any plans on releasing a hecklefish rum or whiskey? That's a great idea. He's a vodka drinker, but a rum or whiskey, that's a great idea, John. I wonder, how do, how do we do that? Like, I, don't, I can't build a distillery, you know? Pardon me, it's not very professional. You, you can't afford to build a distillery on Super Chats. You know, I appreciate the generosity, but it's just, it's not enough. So what do we do? Do we find a white labeler? If you know the answer, John, please tell me, because that's a great idea. Uh, William Bragg, thank you for the $20. Ugh, thank you, human. I'm getting killed on alimony and guppy support payments over here. That's, you know, that's your own doing. Um, Want to send you my book? A shout out would be nice. Love the channel. Go ahead and send it, William. Uh, the address is on the uh, the About tab on the channel. And happy to give you a shout out on uh, on the live stream. I'll hold the book up. I'll put it on the shelf, whatever you want. There are actually a couple of books back at home I need to bring in here. Now that I say it, that need to go on the shelf that uh, that some folks sent me. There's the Found in Fiction Gaming Channel. 
five dollars. Love the show. My husband and I have showed so many people Lord Hecklefish. He is a strict but fair Lord. Um, that's cool. I love that you're spreading spreading the the word about uh, the white files. There's Melissa Wiggins. Look, look at her avatar. Look at her smiling face. Everybody, look. Five thousand people look at her right now. Look, see that's Melissa Wiggins. Dropping two dollars in the tip jar. Have you done a video on spontaneous teleportation? I have not, but man, that's a good idea. Got to file that one away in the old noodle to revisit later. Spontaneous teleportation. I have, I've never heard of that being at least phrased that way. Like time slips. I've heard of having a little element of the uh, of teleportation, but not just going somewhere and appearing somewhere else. Super cool idea. So that's Melissa Wiggins, smiling face. There she goes. Uh, Rob, 13, is 1337, I think that means leet for a pound 79. I'm a hungry, proceeds to eat hecklefish. Uh, good luck. Good luck. There's Darren Bennett for $10. Love the episode. I've never heard of this man. It, it is Friday, February 10th, 1041 a.m. In, in the Philippines, we love you all at the Y Files. Oh, great. So... So what is then 41? Where are we? Seven, two. So not that far behind, right? Uh, nine hours or so. Nine hours? I don't know why I care, but I do. Carl Schneider, thank you for the $10. You guys are doing a great job at the channel. Thanks. Interesting, entertaining, and fun. We try. If this is a simulation, who, what do you think is the intelligent designer? I don't know that. I don't think there's any way to know that. And even if that that answer was out there, I don't think we can comprehend it. Um, you know, in the simulation video, I touched on it very briefly about Plato's uh, his cave story. I won't tell the whole thing, but the gist of it is: there's prisoners; they're stuck in a cave. All they ever see their whole lives is their shadows on the wall because there are torches behind them. They can't move. They can't do anything. They could just see the shadows on the walls. One day, one of the prisoners gets out and he goes, finds his way out of the cave. And now he's out in the sunshine and the green grass and trees and all that stuff. And he's completely overwhelmed. He doesn't even understand what he's looking at. So uh, like when they're prisoners, they hear the guards behind them, but they never see them. So that's their whole existence. So our whole existence is this. And you know, if if we came face to face with the intelligent designer, would we even know that's who it was? I don't. I don't think we would. Sorry, just checking check, checking the old chat. David Butler, a uh, longtime supporter of the channel, wouldn't the Mandela effect be a byproduct of living in the simulation? I think so. I think it is. Um, <clears throat> if. Uh, if you're old enough to remember or you're nerdy enough to remember Philip K. Dick, um, he wrote a lot of alternate fiction stories like Man in the High Castle, among others. And he, he said that he, he, write, he wrote that alternate history story based on visions that he was having that he felt that other aspects of the simulation were bleeding into his reality. Like that – he didn't say, well, it was my inspiration. He said, no, I'm writing down my visions. He saw, he saw Germany win World War II. He, you know, he saw the Axis powers win. And that's crazy. It's, he talks about it in an interview that he gave in France, and I think it was 1979. It, it was late 70s. And it's, <clears throat> it's fun to watch for two reasons. One, because it's Philip K. Dick. And he's, he's a genius, but he is... I don't know, crazy. I, I think you get so smart, you become crazy. So, but he's, he's bananas. He's got so much to say, but it's funny because everyone has, everyone came there. So he would like sign their book. You know, what do electric sheep dream of the Blade Runner book and a zillion other books. They all went there for like a book signing and to hear him talk about his books. And he just talks for an hour about alternate realities and simulation and, and the designer and how it's all software. And you just see their faces just like what what do what do we arrive at? I would have enjoyed it, and I think you would have too, David. Um, whom do we have here? Oh, there is uh, Thomas 
S Russo Escort for seventy five dollars. Whoa! I'm a fish and I'm a star. So put more dough in my jar. The type of vodka that I need is Belvedere. <laughs> I need to buy a oh, tinfoil hat. So please click the super chat. We all know the government is listening. That one goes on for, for a bit. Um, Agent Heckelfuss, great episode again. That Bell UFO is similar, uh, D. Glocka. Yeah, I, I, I thought so. If Einstein said it was possible, then hey, who knows? Shout out from Long Island. Strong Island. Um, yeah, so Einstein didn't specifically say it was possible. But um, but physicists have – look, every year there's between 30 and 50 peer-reviewed scientific papers written about time travel. Like it's really a thing that people are – people researching are interested in. And um, a couple of physicists – I don't specifically remember which ones. It wasn't Michio Kaku. It wasn't – I forget. They were – what they were doing was they were – taking Einstein's like his, the mathematical uh, formulas and just, and filling it with data related to time travel. And they couldn't break, they couldn't break his theories. Like it just kept working and working, even though when they expected it to fail, you know, um, reaching speeds up to the speed of light, all that stuff, they, they, they didn't fail. So that's what, um, so I think it was Michio Kaku who said, Traveling to the past is probably not something that we'll ever, ever do just because of the energy requirements. But he said that theoretically the math works, which I thought was cool. There's David Butler again. Would the Mandela effect be a byproduct living in the simulation? You know, I, I think so because I'm having a deja vu that I already read that comment. Uh, Rom 116, five dollars. Thanks for another well done episode. You're welcome. I greatly appreciate your investigative skills and masterful star storytelling abilities. Bravo! Thank you, Room 116. Who's that in the avatar? Um, yeah, it looks like you and the wife, and it looks like you're holding a duck. You're holding a duck, or is that a a shaved dog, potbelly pig? I don't know what that is, but uh, it looks cuddly. Uh, MS Corley for 2222. Yo, thank you for the tip. I'm saving up to build a bunker to protect me from the lizard people. They're coming to get you. Longtime fan, first time super chatter. Well, thank you for that. Love the show. I'm a book cover designer. Search MS Corley art. If you ever make a Wi Files book, I'd love to work with you. Cool. Email. Email us. Um, email the channel so we I'm, have your information. I, I'm coveting your nicotine gum. Damn, damn, damn her. It's the hardest part about doing the long live streams is I have no nicotine gum. Very, very, I mean, the, the, the shakes, the, 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 the tremors. Um, a few people have asked about a Wi Files book, MS Corley. I don't know what the book would be about. Remember, I, I, I'm an entertainer. I talk to a fish. You know, maybe Hecklefish could do a kid's book about stuff. I don't know. He doesn't really like kids that much, but you know what? Well, I guess we, you pitch it. Tiffany Hicks, 499 Wi Files episodes have become an awesome weekly date night for us. Thanks, AJ and Lord Hecklefish. The Wi Files are bringing the romance back into that stale relationship of Tiffany's. <laughs> They're fine. They're, if they know I'm joking, uh, no, unless I'm right. I'm sorry about that. Oh, hang on, hang on. Getting flagged down. Did you notice that Victoria casually placed her Wi Files hoodie behind her over the chair so that she's, you know, pushing the channel every time you cut to her? I think that's awesome. <laughs> Look at the product placement. I didn't notice it because normally when I'm looking, normally when I'm looking at her, she's yawning or on her phone. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. All right. So, and if you'd like to purchase that hoodie, 
You can do that right now at shoptatthewifiles.com. Shoptatthewifiles.com. Grab yourself a Wife Files hoodie. Support the channel. Support your favorite channel by grabbing some merch. Um, you know, for Tiffany, maybe we need to get some some Wife Files, some Hecklefish marital aids. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what do you think? Stop. No, we did talk about, though, doing hecklefish boxers. No. Mr. Naughty. Mr. Put, Naughty co going to see Tiffany. Put Mr. Naughty down. I almost it, did a Mr. Naughty voice that came into my head, but I realized that would that that crosses the creepy line. Right. Yeah. Right now, I'm just I'm just gently massaging the creepy line with hot oh. oil. Oh, I don't no. want to step completely over the line. All right, let's get them out of there. Spoiling all our fun. Can't even talk about hot oil massages anymore. Greg, Domi, Greg D, $10, best app for files ever. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm glad you're having fun. Oh, hang on. The private chat is filling up. Uh, what do we got? Oh, it's all the fans that clicked on the, on, on the link that I accidentally put in there. All right. Like, there's no harm. There's no harm in that. I'm glad that you're having fun, Greg, because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, Harrison Black with $50. Wow, thanks. Yes, thank you, human. You know the deal. You seek understanding. Listen to the music, not the song. That's that's well said. Well said. Um, the Freaky Deaky Podcast, $2. Can we interview Hecklefish? Maybe. Maybe. Not on video. Uh, Farrar drums, $20, uh, absolute best show out there. Keep it excellent. Work. Thanks AJ and crew. I look forward to watching every week. Thanks. By the way, as Hecklefish was Hecklefish an Olympic swimmer back in the day. I don't know if he was, I need to ask him that. I don't know if he was an Olympic swimmer, but, uh, but we can explore his backstory. It's, he, he certainly has a rich, rich backstory. I mean, tonight we learned that he speaks Russian for some reason. So I don't know what that's about. But uh, what did he say, by the way? You didn't you put the subtitle oh, was Russian. So. Right. The subtitles on the screen of what he said. Right. But it was in Russian. So there right. was no translation. Of what it, he said. <laughs> oh. So oh, any no. any detectives out there can maybe drop some clues for the ladies as how to solve this mystery. In the chats, oh, look at the eye rolling. Just roll those back to the front, please. Just look at his subtitles and just find yourself a Cyrillic Russian keyboard, whatever. Just type out the characters. It's It looks weird. Like, if you don't know that alphabet, because who would? It looks crazy. It looks bananas. Like, who even invented it? But... Those are really letters. Plug those, just write them out, drop it into Google Translate, and you will have the answer. You'll know exactly what Hecklefish said, I promise. They're always going to be um, little Easter eggs. Eric Bichard for 567. Uh, love the end of the show tonight. Always love the reflection and positivity. Live life to the fullest. Hey, man, I agree. And uh, I'm glad you enjoyed that message. Uh, I worry that it, it gets too sappy, but I mean everything I say. Because America, $10, excellent video, never heard of this story. Great. On the topic of time travel slips, please do the Liverpool time slips next. Also Denver Airport, of course. Have a great weekend. Liverpool time slips is high on the list, super high on the list. That That is the city with the most, at least that I've found. And um, with some pretty good documentation. You know, not hard, not hard evidence, but a lot of the people in Liverpool have slipped into, into other times as couples, which is, that's crazy. So uh, Liverpool time slips, that's coming up. Soul Molasses, 33, $10, uh, $2. Wish I could time travel to next Thursday's episode. Very, very nice. Very nice. Mark Anders, great show as always. Just found the Wi-Fi files on Spotify, which makes you more money there or YouTube. YouTube by far, because um, most people just listen on Spotify. And... Um, <clears throat> Not that many people listen to the, the show over there. Although Spotify tells me that lots of people are listening over there. I think it's um it's a top 20% podcast now. I don't know what that means. But um, 
it gets about 10,000 downloads a show or so, 10, 12,000. But our episodes here get more than that. But uh, but it's cool to see people listening over at Spotify. Um, so yeah, if you want to take the Wi Files on the road, it's it, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple, we're on Audible, on all of them. And uh, you flagging me down? I am. It's time to do uh, a giveaway. Oh, it's time for a giveaway. I need Hecklefish maybe to, to do a giveaway song so we can build up what? the time action. Out for just a second, because I said that, and then Zeb Francis in the ch- in the chat just said giveaway time yet. So you were talking about the simulation, which I don't believe in, by the way. But that's very interesting that he said that right at that time. Right. Because it's a simulation. How else could you explain it? All right. So we're going to give away? Yes. All right. We're... Oh, hang on. Um, I got to find... No, not that one. No, not that one. (laughs) Give, uh, hang on. Uh, there, that one. Yes. Very good. So what are we going to, what's going to be our secret word? What is the word? I had an idea last week and now I have forgotten. The secret word should be. <laughs> what? Tell Mr. Naughty? Okay. Teleportation. Sure. Mr. Naughty. All right. Okay. You go to Mr. Naughty. Mm-hmm. All right. Mr. Naughty is your word. And um, so if you're new here, what you do is just type Mr. Naughty into the comments. Just leave a comment, Mr. Naughty, but it has to be spelled exactly how you see it on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. In all capitals. No I spaces. Think so. All capitals. Zombie code takes. Just no all right, hang on, hang on, just so you can see it. That's how you spell it M R N A U G H T Y, Mr. Naughty, and you will win a yeah. gift card to the Wi Fi store. Mm-hmm. So, buy some yeah. stuff. Um, all right, so, so let's see who's in there, Mr. Naughty. We've got 79 entries, and let's see what's going on. In the in the comments, I because I love to, I love to see all the typos. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and there there are many. I sorry, soul molasses teleportation. We we switched it on you. Sorry. Um, oh yabba dabba do. That would have been a great one. Um, all right, here are all the Mister Not everyone. Not not too many typos. Not Pretty really good. at all. Everyone for some reason everyone knows how to spell naughty. <laughs> all right, there's. 400. I guess we're going to click it. Click it. Gonna click it for last call. Last call, y'all. Last call, y'all. And here we go. Like this needs a boop, 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 boop. You do it good. Yeah, keep going. Wow. Canadian bacon hypnotic ostrich. Hypnotic ostrich is the winner. So hypnotic ostrich. So, uh, I got it. You know, you 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 guys explain what 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 they do. I'll be I'll be back in a second. Unless you want me to take you guys with me to where I'm going. No, 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 no. You go do whatever it is All that right. you're doing. I'll be right back. Oh, great. <laughs> Going to be a while. <laughs> so, hypnotic ostrich, reach out to Victoria on Discord. Because we need to get your full name and your email address so that we can send you a gift card to the Wi File store for $50. Yay! Yay. Uh, that's awesome. So we're going to, I think, do two more tonight. So stick around. Uh, let's see. What do we what do we got here in the chat? People are still typing Mr. Naughty. Oh, S- James Sweat typed in Nod Narb. Yes, that was the very first. One that we did, and it became a whole thing, a whole thing. Um, crab cat cooties. So yes, we love the crab cat. That was fast. He doesn't have his. Uh, that was fast. Yeah, I, I didn't. I needed that much time. I was already halfway there. You're so tacky. 
All right. Did we give the uh, explanation? We did. All right. Well, you know what? There she goes. Congratulations to Hypnotic Ostrich. And uh, let's get that back. There we go. Okay. Where were we on the uh, on the pin comments? Great. Uh, Spotify got that. Yes. Yeah, so, so Hecklefish, uh, Hecklefish, Wi Files on the Road, um, all your favorite podcast platforms, I think. I don't think we're missing any. If we are, let me know. Gilmar Torres, uh, $2. Love, love an episode about the Utah monolith. Now, I believe that that was just an, an experimental art installation, but it's a good topic. It's definitely a good topic, Gilmar. Gilmar? Gilmar. Uh, Edward Peacock? 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 Edward, your last name sounds like, like what a chicken says. Edward Peacock III for 1999. Directed donation. Directed donation. Nipper bottle of Tito's for Hecklefish. Wow. He, he likes Belvedere, but he, you know. Tito's is fine. We appreciate that. Edward Picard. What? Did you have what? something? No, we're good. Uh, the Lazy March for 10 Australian. Do you think civilization type 7 that can create a universe is the one behind the simulation? Also, if what happened is they are human who was live in the past advanced civilization thought. Um, a type 7. Type 7 is 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 beyond god powers right if type type three or type four is is gal galactic then type seven that's crazy um I, again lazy march i don't think we would be able to comprehend it i don't think we would know what we we're even looking at um so so i don't i don't know if that's the answer you know and if if you have that type of technology there's no way they would let us find out. But there are a lot of good reasons why why this is a simulation. Light speed is 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 one of them. Uh, zero cool for forty one dollars. Uh, great episode. Very art Belfield. Well, that's a compliment. We are working on an amazing VR time travel game called Tempest eighty four. We're based in Denver, so we love our airport and Lucifer. Um, Lucifer is that crazy um, blue. Uh, horse Mustang that's uh, rearing up in front of the airport with its eyes glow red. So they call it Lucifer. Um, VR time travel game called Tempest 84. That sounds like something I'd like to check out. I'm not asking for, I'm not asking for a freebie. I'll pay for it. Just say it looks cool. Sure. You're grabbing it from the right place. I know exactly where to grab it, honey. Don't worry about that. Ronix. Ronix HX for $5. Your epilogue really hit home for me. This episode, man, my wife and I love the show. Stay amazing, brother. Well, thanks, Ronan. Um, I mean, it, I'm, if I could make you cry, that's that's really what I'm going for. Okay. Uh, Al S. $1.99 Super Sticker. Thank you for that. Uh, Gary DeGrucci for 100 Australian. Wow. <laughs> I'm a goldfish in a steel boat. I swim. I want it, want it. I want it a tip. I want it, want it. I want it a tip. Great episode. So wanted, so wanted it to be true. I love all the time travel and UFO content. Sitting here on a Friday afternoon, doing forex trading, and watching the Y Files is my happy place. Wow, you you need to have nerves of steel to be a uh, to be trading forex. But I appreciate the generous. Well, I guess I guess you're doing fine. Yeah, you're dropping a hundred dollars on a creator. I guess forex is working out for you just fine. Um, we got Alice. There's Steven for twenty dollars. You should go on Joe Rogan's show. He loves talking about stuff that you cover on your channel. I know he does. A couple of things, Stephen. One is I've already been on the show. I was on there with Gino a couple of years ago, and we talked about some weird stuff. But the second thing is Rogan's shows. I think are most interesting when he's talking to somebody who's an expert in the topics that they're talking about. You know, someone who spends their life researching UFOs, talking to Bob Lazar. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I just I just research, I talk to a fish. So I just have a surface knowledge. And I don't think it would be that interesting. Now, of course, if Joe says, come on the show, you go. If Joe calls, you go. But um, 
but I don't know if the audience would get all that much out of it. And maybe I'm just saying that because I'm, I'm terrified that they would not get anything out of it. Flame of Anor. Um, for $5, Flame of Anor. Uh, was that... Was that what was that Gan, what Gandalf the Gandalf spell when the when the demon was the you now or, or, or was it oh this flame of Udun? You nerds out there know what it is. I think it was flame of Udun. Um, do you think time travelers could possibly be people left over from past resets? That's a great theory. It's you know it's one that I'm drawn to is that the UAPs and the stuff on the moon, which is totally there is is advanced humans and from wherever from long long ago and they threw us down here but how you know how cool would that be but that would make more sense to me than um an alien race traveling across 50 100 a thousand light years unless it's simulation you just make a wormhole and bob's your uncle Ugo Salgado, $5. Is Hecklefish modeled after Sophia from the Golden Girls? I detect a similar milieu. Uh, I don't think he is. Thank you for using the word milieu. We needed that at least once in the chat. Um, I don't think he, I haven't seen the Golden Girls in a long, long time. I like it. He could be subconsciously based on that. I don't know. I have to ask him. Friendship Lights. What brand of... And MG of Nick gum, do you and Jen use? Uh, we go straight Nicorette. Now, she's going with the, uh, that looks like the white ice two mils. I'm mostly fruit chill two mils. Did four, I did four for a while, but it's, it's, it's too much. Like it, the effect of the nicotine at four is great, but also the effect of not having it is just as, it's, it's, it's too much. So now I now I can go without I can go without the gum. I could really do it all day if I had to. Like I maybe I'll chew a piece of gum after dinner and then I'll still be up for 6 or 7 more hours. I won't chew any more gum. But when I was on the fours, I felt like I always needed to have it. So, if you're new to the channel, you're new to what I'm talking about, um I chew nicotine gum. I chew it every day. And uh people Ask me, you know, what I, if I'm trying to quit smoking, but I've never smoked. I just, I just chew the nicotine because it's nicotine is the drug that knows. If you're kind of down, it'll give you some energy, and if you're wired, it'll even you out. So, um, so look, I, I recommend, I recommend it to everyone. If you're over 21, if you're under 21, never try it. Never ever try it. Once you turn 21, I highly recommend it. Gift cast clips five dollars. Why is the mouth upside down in hecklefish? Look at a real goldfish mouth. Love the episodes. His mouth is right side up, as far as I can tell. I mean, that's his mouth, right? My mouth is here. I mean, however the mouth is going to be on the thing is the right side up because that's the mouth, right? Gift gift cast clips. You feel me? Lennox L420, thank you for the 199. Keeping it cloudy out there. The Backwards Truth, $10 Australian. Love your show. I did a reverse speech investigation course. Cool. We have a meta, we have metaphor words that can be found in our normal conversations. Reverse that act like an operating system. What? Backwards truth. You're blowing my mind a little bit. Send me some links on the tips line or email me more specifics. I'm very intrigued by this. So words reversed. Act like an operating system. Is That's, this making sense to anyone? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm intrigued. Nathan Tricky Allen, 420. Great episode. Uh, we still doing channel shout outs. Well, everyone should go to Nathan Tricky Allen right now. I don't I'm looking at your avatar. I can't tell what you're doing there. Um doing stand-up, uh, karaoke. Can't really tell. Um, is it a microphone? Microphone. Uh, so everyone should go to Nathan Tricky Allen and uh, you know like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. Really helps out the channel. Uh, but Nathan, we're going to do channel reviews and shout outs uh, on the Wi Files backstage channel, which I've been neglecting. Like, oh, oh, oh. Like, we have this. We got this thing, which allegedly is the, the million subscriber button thing. 
but I haven't opened it yet because I'm, you know, I'm waiting for you guys. So I think we'll do that on the uh, on the backstage channel. And for the most part, the Wi-Fi's backstage, you know, when it's going, I just I I just do those videos live. I got all the mods screaming in my ear to open it. You're not going to open it oh, now? No, because I want to I want to do an actual video uh, about the opening of it. Tease. That's teasing. Tease. Such a tease. Yeah, but it's Everybody in the chat is screaming, open it. Gina's giving a All thumbs right. down. I don't know. Okay. Let me see what's going on in the chat. Oh, open it. Open it. Um, this one wants to know if I'm a sellout for real. Absolutely. Uh, toss it in the trash. Okay, we'll do that. Open the damn thing. Open it. Open it. Um, such a tease. Hands on hips. <laughs> Doc Savage. <laughs> uh, Bro Crypto Miner says, open it or he stops watching. Oh, how would you know? How would you know? If a, if, if a gold play button is in the forest, does it really make a sound? So we'll do that on a, on the backstage, maybe, maybe tomorrow. So those videos, I usually just go live about whatever I'm talking about. And then it just lives on the channel. So we'll, we'll, we'll open the button there. Um, spoiler alert. It's, it's yellow. It's yellow and, that's it. Awaken Journey Media, $5. Love what you do. Thanks. On the outro, is there significance for the triangle? Please don't be controlled opposition, LOL. Um, those The symbols at the end of the episodes is the Shaolin Kempo salute. And the triangle is just, in Kempo, geometry is a big part of, of the martial art. So the triangle represents, everyone will give you a different answer, but... Um, I might have a link. I have a cool link that explains the whole thing from one of my uh, former teachers, um, Professor Larry. Uh, the Freaky Deaky Podcast, $20. Um, appreciate that. You, thank you for the tip. This human knows what's up. Uh, since we are from Alaska, we'd love to hear you talk about something from our state. Uh, you got fish and oil. That's uh, What else is uh, snow? Fish, oil, and snow. No, I'm just joking, of course. We of love course. Alaska. Um, freaky deaky, if, if there's something that just take those out for a minute, if there's something that, um, that you think would be fun, send it in the tips line. I don't mind. I'm not anti uh, Alaska. Uh, oh, by the way, everyone should go check out the freaky deaky podcast. They talk about all kinds of great stuff. A uh, Pedro Salcedo, uh, 7490. I don't know what pens are, but I appreciate it. Loves the show. Always watches because it deals with great topics. Uh, we make it super fun. And uh, would like a program about mysteries in South America. Big hug from Peru. Hey, Hecklefish, hablas espanol. He does. Um, yeah, South America has some great UFO stories. So yeah, Pedro, we can do that. Dan Garner, thank you for the three dollar super sticker. There's a Elizabeth Brower, five dollars. You could do a couple of hours on Art Bell alone. Please think about this. Rest in peace, Art Bell. I don't know what it would be though, Elizabeth. I mean, I'd love to talk about it. I could do it here. It could just be just us. Mister Abigail, two dollars Australian. Do the Great Emo War. I don't. I've never heard of that, but the image is in right in my mind now. Uh, it, but it's emus fighting emus at war flightless birds at war i'm gonna have, i'm gonna have to look that one up uh tiffany miller is uh is here 1999 no i like the way you tip me no diggities just tip me up i'm wondering what would be the episode you're most interested in doing also want to send jen some support looking forward to the wife files wow <laughs> the wife files that's that's funny. Um, Jen's channel is going to be the what files, and it's going to be primarily true crime, Tiffany. Um, an episode I'm most interested in doing, you know, I don't know. There's there's a, a lot on the list. Tartaria would probably be the one that I would like to I'd like to do. Not so much because it's an amazing story. It's fine. It's so many people want to hear it. So that would be one I would do. I have my list right here. I wonder if I can. Look into the look at this right now. Uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work. I, I don't want. I don't want to screw it up. 
if I could figure out a way, Tiffany, I would even put the topics like on Reddit or somewhere, like the topics that are in the hopper that have made it past the tip line so we can vote on them or discuss them and just get everybody involved. I'd like to do something like that. Um, Eugene, how do you pronounce his last name? I can't. I'm not saying it out loud. I read it out loud in my head and no. Uh, Eugene, huge anus, huge anus, 499. Love the show. Huge anus. What's your favorite huge anus conspiracy theory and why? Um, my favorite is JFK. You know, if it's conspiracy theories to like to talk about, to research, my favorite is JFK. The why is because of who possibly allegedly did it. You know, if you think, because it has everything, right? You've got the assassination of a president, but then you have the deep state, the intelligence community, all the stuff that was happening in Cuba, um, things that were happening with Vice President Johnson at the time. There's just, that's that's one that I would, that's probably my favorite. That's why, because it's government involved. That's probably my favorite. Uh, but I'd like to know what's going on in the moon. I'd really like to know that a lot. Pin Hound, $10 Canadian, some fish food money for Hecklefish Moriarty from Teat. All right, we appreciate that, Pin Hound. Thank you. Cantata Bella. That's a, a beautiful song. How about Government Shelters Polar Shift episode, noob? Um, a few episodes back, we covered the uh, we covered Polar Shift. It's pretty terrifying. So check that out, Cantara Bella and Government Shelters. Yeah, there's some good conspiracies there. There's a, a great angle to the shelter conspiracy that says that on the back of all like road signs, there are symbols that, for people who understand what the symbols mean, give you directions to where the secret bunkers are and who's allowed there and so forth. So uh, I always thought that was fascinating. So look on the back of, of road signs and look with the, those little symbols. They're pointing to a FEMA bunker, possibly. Uh, going to the private chat. Um, okay. I'm not, I'm not, I would normally just read it, but since it's, there's, you know, audience in there, uh, we don't want to do that. X Barry, um, for 10 pounds, loves the channel. Thanks to you and the team for teaching us about all the mysteries of the universe. I'm not allowed to join the stream yard, LOL. Well, x I saw you on there. You looked great. You weren't supposed to go on there, man. I'm sorry. I, you know, I put the wrong link in. That's my fault. I didn't mean to, uh, I didn't mean to tease you. But you know how I like to tease. Speaking of, here's Woody for $5. How important are thumbnails for YouTube and what is your magic sauce? Um, uh, thumbnails are the most important thing. The thumbnails for a smaller channel are probably more important than the videos. I mean, the videos have to be decent that people will stick around and stay on them, but you have to get people in. When I was new, I watched a lot of, uh, of these YouTube consultants you know, like uh, Nick Nimmons and guys that I, like uh, Daniel Batal is another one that I like. I want to name them all because I don't want to miss anybody, but uh, but like those two guys. But one of them said, "If you're not, if you don't spend an hour on your thumbnail, you're not working hard enough." And initially, I thought that was crazy, and then as I started doing this more and more, I realized that that's exactly what you need to do. You need to do so much on the thumbnail. And, and I can see when thumbnails fail, like, the, um, I use a tube called, uh, a tool called tube buddy, which allows you to AB test your thumbnails. I, I'm sorry about the inside baseball, but, but what he wants to know. So you AB test the thumbnails, meaning that every 24 hours, it switches the thumbnail with another and you can see the stats like the Georgia Guidestone thumbnail. And that's not a good one, but it, it is what it is. I haven't had time to fix it. You know, I, I think it got over a million views. So it's it's like, uh, it, it, it's fine. Everyone who needed to see it saw it. Um, but I spend a lot of time in the thumbnails. There's no magic sauce. You know, I'm not a graphic designer. I have a template that I use and I try to find an image that's 
interesting and compelling that you're going to want to click on it, but I, I never want to put anything like clickbaity in there because I just hate those thumbnails, you know, with the face and the red arrow. Like you won't believe what's in here. You know, I hate, I hate that. I don't want to ever do that. Um, but people click on those. A lot of the consultants will say, do that. They'll say, put your face, put your expression. Cause people are drawn to the emotion. I don't know. I guess that's for Gen Zers and stuff. You know, I, I, I don't get it. I, I want you, when you look at the thumbnail, I want you to go, oh, it's about like the thumbnail tonight is about Sergei Ponomarenko. Well, he's in the thumbnail. He's a time traveler. We're in the thumbnail is like a crazy cityscape behind him. I know it's not amazing, but it's what the video is about. So when you click in there, that's what it's, that's what's in there. Uh, hey, Russell Brand, are you listening? Are you listening? When we click on it, it what's, what you said in the title and thumbnail is what I want to see in there. Love your channel, by the way. Pete King for $20. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Tip for the morning, human. Uh, Pete King, uh, looks like he's a San Francisco Giants fan. Honestly, we're all New York Yankees here. Honestly, do you believe in time travel? I do not. I don't believe. I, I mean, I believe in the possibility of it. I don't believe that anyone's doing it. Now, like I always say, I'm, I want to believe. So if there's, if there's suddenly evidence that there is an advanced human civilization that invents time travel a million years from now and is coming back here and that's what the UAPs are or whatever, I'm all about it. I would be, that would be amazing. I, I love it. But for the most part, even though it's theoretically possible, no, I don't believe it occurs. You know, the thing that a lot of people forget about is if you, if you want to travel, let's say you traveled one hour back in time. Like I'm sitting here and I go whoosh and I go one hour back in time. Uh, now I'm floating in the middle of space. Everything's moving, right? The earth is spinning and the, and we're orbiting the sun and the sun is orbiting within the galaxy and the galaxy's in the cluster and then the super cluster and all that stuff. So everything is moving. So there's, there's a lot of, a lot of math there. Like, all right, we, so theoretically we can move back in time, but then there's the other piece. How do we, how do we stay connected to the space? We got the time, but how do we connect to the space? Now there's a guy, and I'm going to do a video on him called uh, Mike Markham, Madman Mike Markham, who was on Art Bell a while ago. And he gave some interesting scientific solutions to some of these problems. And he said that his time machine was geomagnetically locked to a location on earth so that when he traveled, he'd end up in the same spot, but the math wasn't exactly right. So he was always, you know, within two or 300 miles accurate, which, you know, it is, is pretty accurate when you're talking about thousands of miles, but you know, he'd maybe go into the time machine in Pittsburgh and he'd end up in Cleveland. Um, so, that kind of stuff. And Art asked him, well, if you, if you go in the machine at Pittsburgh, Cleveland's fine, but what if you go east and you end up in the ocean? Mike Markham's like, and I drown. But at least he's, he's aware of that problem and, and has some interesting solutions, to, interesting explanations, not solutions, um, because he's not real. Peter Juziak, Jus thank you for the $20. I appreciate that. There is Corvus Elise. Four ninety nine. Thank you, Corvus. Mike Barra. Um, always good to see you, Mike. Four ninety nine. Uh, faster than light travel is actually an easier technological hurdle than time travel because Earth is nowhere near where it was, say, twenty years ago. See, this is how we know we're in a simulation, right? Because he's talking about exactly what I was just talking about five seconds ago. Um, uh, but Mike is also correct because we because you can go faster than light if. Like I dropped the, that clip in there tonight about uh, when he's he has space time and he wraps it like a cylinder. If you do that, then you're moving faster than light because you're contracting space time. That's that sort of thing. So we know that can be done. You just don't know how. Craig S. Pappas is back. Um, let's play drums. Take your requests. Lennox L420, how do we get real answers? I want true info. Well, I try to tell you the true info that I can find, Lennox. Uh, you know, I don't get everything right. But I try and tell the truth. Um, a lot of people don't like that. 
They just want me to tell the story. Kuma Dok Utsu, uh, 1499 Australian. I sent to tips ancient Egyptian stone writings in Australia to princes from Egypt. Yeah, I talked about that briefly in, a, in an episode. Um, oh, you know what? It might have been a short. I think it was a short, The Glyphs in Australia. Um, yeah, and the princes, was it two? I thought it was just... That was just one, but um, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's an interesting story. That actually might work with what I'm working on now, which is about Akhenaten, which I think you'll like. Dan Garner, thank you for the two dollars. There's Paul is back, twenty dollars. Boom shakalaka! Thank you for the tip. Be a fair lord, as you don't let trolls live rent free in your head. You know, easier said than done, Paul, because they're there. You know, I see it in the chat now. As I'm doing this, I have, you know, I have the the pinned comments. I have my screen so I can see you guys. And over here, I've got the chat. But now I've covered it because I saw some stupid comments. I'm like, ah, eh, it, it's just going to bring me down. So it, it's, there's no way to avoid it. Um, Bob Andre, $2. He loves hecklefish. Biggity bingo, human. Angelo Oliver, do the dance now, please. I put that up there. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> All right. There you go. There's the dance. Done. Angela, I can't do that now. That's that's a special thing I do for you at the end of the episode. You got to, you know, you got to want it. You got to earn it. J L I J letter J L. Thank you for the $20. Need to work on your username and avatar there a little bit. I, you know, maybe Percy McGillicuddy's, uh, what was it? Percy McGillicuddy's uh, massage therapy and chicken farm. What was he? Is that right? Old, what I said? Old, old time, time, timey, why, why me? Old timey uh, joinery. I, old -timey I joinery. figure he has something to do with woodworking. It's because it's old timey timber joinery or something like that. Oh, so he's woodworking. Yes, that would be my guess. All right, that's a good guess. Freaky Deaky Podcast, five dollars. We need official Lord Hecklefish merch. Yeah, people have asked for that, but the thing is, the Lord Hecklefish was for a commercial that we did, um, for established titles, which was a whole dramatic thing. You notice we don't work with them anymore. It's a whole dramatic thing. So, a, I don't want to give a sponsor like free. I don't know, free plug, because if it's like, oh, well, Lord Hecklefish, what's that? Well, it comes from this. Oh, that's a commercial for that company that they don't work with anymore. But I might have to bite the bullet because a lot of people ask for it, you know, because he is a strict but fair lord. Skid marks for $2. Sorry, my last $2. Ever heard of injured cold? I have not. I have not skid marks. I'm sorry that you wasted your $2 on that. But look, I'm an entertainer. I talk to a fish. Jefferson Triplett, thank you for the $5. Johnny Shabazz, that's a cool name. Um, 30 Canadian, thank you for that. Corvus, Elise is back, 499. Very recent subscriber, can't stop watching. We love that. I'm on cancer meds, so keeping me engaged is difficult, so good job keeping coming. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Corvus. I hope you feel better. I really do. I'm glad that we're bringing a little bit of sunshine in there. Dave Yee Glee, $20. Sweet, fancy Moses. I'm going to be in a new tax bracket over here. Tax is a theft. I feel you. My wife and I love the dance at the end of the credits. It makes us break into dance too. Always puts a smile on our faces. Video or it's not true, Dave. I want to see that. Yeah, Victoria wants to see that too. Yep. She doesn't say a lot of words, but when she does, they really, really hit. Uh, rhubarb pie. Rhubarb pie for four ninety nine. dollars um, You probably should have donated 3.14, no? Absolutely love the show, always. Go get some cookout on me. What could four ninety nine get you anymore, cookout-wise? Especially after YouTube takes their cut. Um, can't get a burger. I could probably get a half a soup. Get a half a soup. Um, but with Alan Tacitus kicking in his 20 Canadian, now... Now maybe we can get some some cookout. He says, take my money. As you command. Todd Rosinski, thank you for that. 
James Tunes, Tunes, ten dollars. Don't let the mean comments. Well, that's where I am in the chat, huh? Um, how long are we going? Oh boy! All right, I got to speed it up. Uh, well, you're, you're asking me interesting questions. Don't let the don't let the mean comments get to you. Do and do your future self a favor. You guys do great work. Yeah, I, I that future self thing I heard from somebody, and I don't remember. I don't remember who it was. Um. But what he was talking about was he was talking about like dieting and alcohol and smoking and all that. And what he was saying was, you know, so much of American culture is just now, 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 now. So you eat it now, you smoke now, you drink now. And it's great because you feel good now. But then in the morning, how do you feel? And then, you know, in two years, it's like, how did I just gain so much weight? And then in 10 years, my cholesterol. And, the, and that's your future self. So when you have that difficult doctor conversation, you don't want to go, ah, I shouldn't have done so much of that or this. Still have fun. You got to still have fun. But remember, your future self is a person, a person that you care about. So be good to that person. Uh, Jeffrey Rizzo, thank you for the $5. Always love your avatar. Freaking love your channel, dude. Can we get a Travis Walton video? Put that in the tips line. Uh, Jeffrey Rizzo. Gray Pulowski, thank you for that super sticker. Uh, I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. You mean you just don't realize what your tips do to me? When you tip me, uh, I can pay my bills and you make uh, me tingle in my gills. Uh, uh, your tips are amazing, and I think it's crazy that you send cash to me. <laughs> <laughs> That does go on for a while. Uh, Sean Calloway. Hang on. Hang on. Being flagged down. There she is. Um, put the tips line banner up top. Uh, tips line banner. Let me see. Where is that? You got to open that folder. Uh, it's not in there. And it happened again. Somebody just said mods. Maybe it would be a good idea to pin a link to the tip line. See? Simulation. No. It's not simulation. No, it, it is. It's not. Uh, Sean Calloway for $50. Oh, are we plugging our own YouTube channels tonight? Check out mine, The Heavy Shield, where I talk about PTSD and veteran issues. Also love your stuff, big time fan. I love your balance between tinfoil hat topics and do your research. Uh, we're not plugging tonight, Sean, but uh, everyone should go check out The Heavy Shield. Uh, certainly if if you have served or planning on serving or back from serving. Go check out The Heavy Shield. Um, but pretty soon on the Backstage Channel, Sean, we're going to be doing uh, channel reviews, channel roasting, and uh, whatever I can do to help. Mike Wash, thank you for $5. Love your stuff. Where's Hecklefish tonight? He's not in his bowl. I actually don't know, but it's Friday night. So it's Friday night. It's Vegas. I would guess that he's at the, uh, probably at the Spearmint Seahorse, be my guess. Friday. Friday. Oh, it's Thursday. Oh, so it's because the stream is, I thought the stream was going into the following. It's been a long one. Uh, Dave Wright, thank you for $2. Thank you for great content. Much appreciated. I appreciate you because I couldn't do this without the uh, without the support from you guys. Angry Otter comments. Um, what do you mean tonight? Mean, always beautiful. Couldn't agree more. Nahid Bokai. $50 super sticker. That's amazing. Thank you so much for that, Nahid. I'm sorry I butchered your name. Here's a Revival Fitness 499. I'm broke, but keep making dope alien episodes. My girlfriend hates talking about UFOs. You got to, Revival, you got to get her in, in, into the show. You got to get her uh, involved in the Y Files. You know that she'd be Hecklefish's biggest fan. I mean, women love him. Love him. See? I'm talking about Serpentor 
for five dollars. Love the channel. I want to see a window decal of hecklefish. That's a good idea. We have stickers up there. We need to do some more window decal. I don't know if Printify does those. Like I, if like I wouldn't put a hecklefish bumper sticker on my car. I might, but I probably wouldn't. But I would put a decal in the window. I think that would be fun. I'm being I'm being summoned. We can get those. We All right, there she is weighing in with the answer. Yeah. Yeah. You saw that, right? See what I have to deal with? Yeah. She's still going. She's still sighing. Is the sigh of a thousand years. Stocks that dip for ten dollars. Did William Shakespeare always have an earring? I don't remember that when I was younger. I don't. Does he have an earring? In uh, I I can only recall that one portrait of him. There must be others, but I only recall that one. You know, with with the the neck ruffles. And is he wearing an earring in that? I don't remember. Jeffrey Smith, forty two bucks. Wow. <laughs> Big tips and I cannot lie. You other fish can't deny. Um, are there any good theories about aliens living deep underground on Earth and UFOs being them poking out after taking shelter there? I could really use some punctuation here, Jeremy. After taking there for many millennium only to see this crazy ape species wreaking havoc. Love the show. So what is it if you're like 30 years or under, there's just no, you don't even touch the commas. You won't even, you know, they're there, right? It's near between the M. There's a comma, there's periods, a semi. You got to help out the older folks like us. Um, let, me, let me take a shot. Are there any good theories about aliens living deep underground on Earth and UFOs? I, I, I can't do it. But um, the I like the Dulce base theories, Jeremy. So we've got that episode up. That's fun. And um, that tells the story of Dulce base and Phil Schneider. If you haven't watched that, you should definitely watch that. Um, but there's a zillion theories about this, and um, I haven't done the the reptilians living underneath Los Angeles. It's it's a great story. I just haven't done it because it's so it's so lizard people. It's like so much lizard people. I don't want I I don't want he, the fish will go bananas, and I don't want I don't want, you know I don't want to blow the the catchphrase. But we may have to do the story. Maybe. Okay, a couple things. We got to do some housekeeping. So, we got to do some housekeeping. Applebee's. Well, you can't go away because I'm talking to you. Applebee's. Ooh, Applebee's. Well, is Gino coming to the studio tonight, or is he? He's. Oh, he's. He's not. He's going to. I'm three hours out. He's coming to the house. All right. Sounds like he's playing poker. <laughs> he's playing poker. That's solid producing there. <laughs> okay, so Applebee's, that's one. All right, all right, Applebee's, or, or we got it, we got it. What time is it? Oh, okay. Uh, two, it's two minutes from another drawing time. Oh. And then in, at 8.30, I'm going to call last call for Super Chats because I think you're only about halfway through. Uh oh. Yeah. So. All right. So, what are we doing? We're doing a drawing. Well, do you need to order your dinner? Um, I'll order it in about a half hour. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's there. Let's make sure that we don't order it in about a half hour. I'll keep an eye on the time. All right. We need a word here, but don't. As soon as we say it, they'll start typing it. I, I want to be very judicious with our choosing of the word. We had Mr. Naughty. Lizard people's two on the nose, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking Applebee's, or did we do that one already? We did that one already. Uh, oh, okay. No, we didn't. Somebody said to do it, but we didn't do it. Oh, someone said to do yabba dabba do. Maybe we'll do that one next. Um, Applebee's. A, a, a P P L E B E S. If I'm spelled it wrong, I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> do what I did. Um, 
So what you have to do if you're just joining the stream is just type Applebee's all caps spelled exactly the same way. Put that into the chat as the only thing in the chat and you'll be entered into this drawing. And what happens when we, when we click draw is someone is randomly chosen from all the entries and that person will win a gift card to the Wi-Fi store. And look, if you, if you don't win the contest, I don't want you to be sad because you can still go to the Wi-Fi store and support your favorite <laughs> YouTube channel at shop at the You can get mugs. We got those very inexpensively t-shirts, fear the crab cat shirts are flying off the shelves. There's a cartoon mug. So you don't have to win the contest, but it is a lot more fun to do that. So support your favorite YouTube channel shop at the We've got 417 entries. Wow. I think we're ready to rock mm -hmm. 459. I'm clicking it. And here we go um i'm seeing blackbeard i'm seeing william there's will there's jeff there's eric there's ninja bat there's paranoid times there's canadian bacon corvus is there brandy rocks kathy putman winner is amanda Yay! winner is amanda yay amanda Congrat congratulations amanda and what she's gonna hop onto discord and reach out to someone and you know what to do Reach out to Victoria, give her your full name and email address, and then we'll send you a $50 gift card to the store. Well, I think that's just great. Also, yes, there oh. is a portrait. I looked it up. There's a portrait of William Shakespeare with an earring. Huh. I had not seen that one before, but apparently it was painted a few hundred years ago. And... Mm -hmm. There it is with the big earring. Who knew? All right. There's Mrs. Y Files weighing in with some excellent Renaissance facts for us. Some outstanding Renaissance knowledge from Mrs. Y Files. We appreciate that as always. SV 499. Have you ever done a series on La Llorona? Uh, my grandfather said he heard it um, himself in his younger years living in Mexico, scared him to death. I haven't done that one. A couple of people have asked for it. I'm not that familiar with that one. But you could do a whole you we could do a whole episode on um on Mexican stories. I can think of three just off the top of my head that are great stories about that, that occur in Mexico. So that might be fun to do. Tim Fricky, you Tim Frick, Tim Frick, uh, $2. Have you heard of Andy Perro, Project Superman? I have not. Project Superman sounds familiar, but I don't, it, I don't know. Put that in the Tim's line, uh, tips line, Tim. The Freaky Deaky Podcast is back for $10. We need the Lizard People t-shirt. We'll wear it in a video. Put it and take our money. All right. I think we're going to do that. Um, so it is written. So shall it be done? Kate's Corner, one word, $10 from a hospital bed in Deckerville, Michigan. Your show is the highlight of my week. Well, I, we want you to get well, Kate's Corner. Sorry that you're in a hospital bed, but I'm glad that we're making it a little easier for you. I mean, if I was in the hospital, I wouldn't want to watch this, but I appreciate that you are. Uh, Marley Jane, $5. Really enjoy the videos. Much love for <laughs> Hecklefish. Yeah, he's this human right here, this human gets it. Uh, Tim Paytech, Tim Paytech, $1.99. You, wife, hecklefish, should do a, a mystery <laughs> science theater. 3K. That's I a great idea. I love that. That's a great I'm idea. I mean, we, a note. Yeah, are you making a note? And did you make a note of the um, hecklefish whiskey or bourbon? I did. I did. We can All white right. label that, or we can find somebody local that's a distillery that can make us a barrel. Yeah, I, I'm just one barrel, just hecklefish reserve. Yes, and and every bottle will have something floating in in there, like a right, like a dead fish. No. Well, we'll see. We, we, get, we still got to work because I was thinking the worm with the tequila. Did you ever? Did you ever eat the worm? I did not. No, no. There, there's a worm eater right there. <laughs> What? <laughs> How dare you? These women are filthy. Filthy. Tim, that's a great idea. Uh, we can't do that on YouTube because of copyright infringement. Um, but we post that maybe on Patreon or something. It's just, it's a hysterical idea. 
William House. Thank you for that. Uh, Five dollars, William. Scott F is back. Ten dollars T-shirt idea. Mister Naughty, it's for us. Include the gym. That's a great idea, Mister Naughty T-shirt. You could do that. Every T-shirt comes with two AA batteries. Lloyd J. Bear for eight pounds ninety nine. Please don't stop dancing. I always try to copy your moves. Love you, brother. It's hard. It's really hard to copy those moves. You know, maybe I'll do a video, a kind of a step by step tutorial on how to do that. It, you know, it's all about the face that you make. Paul is back for ten dollars at TK Mech. Mech has asked twice. What's the best way to support you? Largest percentage? It's Patreon, right? If not, what? It's Patreon. Yeah, it's Patreon. Um, we may add a the Streamlabs tip link to these because um, they take a, a very, very small percentage. They, I, I don't even, they take a small percentage. YouTube takes 30, 40% of everything that creators get. Patreon takes almost 10. So it's a little better over there. So if you're not sure, I'd say Patreon because then you'll get some extra stuff and we have more perks coming. Okay. I mean, we were, we were going to have them this week, but I, you know, I got behind again. That's my boss, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, two Acre Homestead for 555. Hashtag save hecklefish. Would love a channel boost. 998 subs. So close I can taste it. I know how that feels. Can uh, Wi-Fi crew put me over the top at Two Acre Homestead? I mean, I, I, you know, I'm really not supposed to do that. But when you say that you're just, when you're almost there, Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find if you're, if you're almost there. All right. So we're going to go to YouTube. What? No, no, that's, it looked like inception because you had your screen within your screen with it. I mean, it was, it, it was, was trippy, crazy right? what was going on there. It was trippy. All right. So, uh, two acre homestead coming up first in my search. Um, this isn't you, right? Two acre homestead. That's not you. You're nine ninety eight. Um, maybe we'll take out the spaces. No. Um, maybe we'll just try to go right to your channel. I look. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. There it is. Nine ninety nine. All right. Who could come on? Can somebody get him over the top, please? I mean. While we're waiting, look, look at what he's got. Where else are you going to get egg candling? I mean, this is the second attempt. So I'd be interested in the first attempt because I want to know what goes wrong with egg candling that requires a follow-up video. But I, you know it's got to be good. Um, you know, here's his face. He's a bearded fella. Everybody loves that. Uh, gravity. This is gravity feeding chicken system. If you need that, what else do we got here? There's some potatoes. He's harvesting potatoes. Look, there's there's got to be someone that's interested in, in chickening and candling and potatoes and, and stuff that will put him over the top. Thank you for doing that. You guys are the best. And I mean that. That was very, very nice of you because I remember what that's like. I remember what that's like to be at with an, uh, when it ends in a 98 or a 99, and it's always you stare at it. I remember 999 for sure because it took it took me a long time to get to a thousand, a long time. So I remember that one. Um, I think I saved, like I took a like video of turn, turning turning twenty five thousand, and then the hundred was crazy because it's all nines. Um, I missed the, I missed the million turn though. I think I was asleep. I got it. I took. What Jen got? I took screenshots of it going like 996, 997, 99. I got it all the way up to 1 million. Exactly. And you get or, one of these. Yeah, You know, you're just teasing people now and they're going to get mad. They're still mad that you have not opened it yet. If you're just joining Stop the live stream, this the is label, it. please. Stop. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I can't. Now, now we got to go in and blur it out. It's too late. They're, they're, they're already archiving it. They're already, they can already see it. So it. I'm calling last call now. So can you please put the banner up? That right. this last, is last, last call for Super Chats. 
We're going to have it uh, up for, we're going to have five more minutes and then we're going to call it. We're not going to read any more super chats after that. So, oh. are, well, I, you're, so if you're super, if you're super chatting after that, you're just doing it to support the channel. Well, yes. And all, all the times everybody's doing it to support the channel and we're very, very thankful. I still love this guy's beard. That's fantastic. Uh, for two acre homestead, two acre homestead, all kinds of eggs and chickens and potatoes. It's a very natural channel. I like it. So somebody wrote mom and dad are fighting. That's very funny. That's very cute. Um, so yes, so we're going to do super chats until 840. We're going to continue starring them. And then he's just going to read until he's read them all. Uh, we'll do another giveaway in 50 minutes, five, zero minutes. May I have your permission to close your window? Socknick01, thank you for the $5 super sticker. Uh, Nancy J, $10 Canadian. Jen, can I see the cases of Coke? Is someone, I see the cases of Coke. Is someone thirsty? Are you kidding? How many Diet Cokes? Do, I'm going to ask her how many Diet Cokes she drinks in a day. She's going to give us an answer, but I'm telling you it's double. Go ahead, go. Because I've uh, measured this. Go ahead. How many Diet Cokes a day? Probably 12 at least. It's closer to 20. It's not closer to 20. It's, it's closer a, to 20. Can we, can lot. someone, I'm going to ask just one, if there's one person in the chat that can help Jen, if you can explain to her how bad Diet Coke is for, for her, put that in the chat. I and know it's a lot. I she w and, and she drinks out of the sippy cups. All day long. So she'll wake up in the middle of the night like, oh, I'm parched. And just reach over and just drink that warm, ice-melted, flat Diet Coke. Ugh. It's like, it's like honey, put some, put some water there. Have a little water. It's not warm. Right, this thing keeps the ice for like a day and a half. Oh, my goodness. Um, William House is back. $5. I just ordered my Fear the Crab Cat mug. Oh, my God. You must be talking about this one. Fear the Crab Cat. I can't wait for it to arrive. Love the show. All hail Lord. Hecklefish is strict but fair Lord. Yeah, you could have your own Fear the Cab Crab Cat mug by going shop at the Wi-Files.com. I think they're still pretty cheap. Thanks for that, uh, William House. Craig is back with another super sticker. I appreciate that. George or George's, George, George's seat, $50 Canadian. Wow. What do you think about the UFO in the Baltic Sea? I also think this one deserves more investigation. The time traveler guy, I mean. Um, the, the Baltic Sea anomaly he's talking about is, it looks like the Millennium Falcon underwater. And the mainstream science or whatever says it's just rock formations but it, it, it there are a lot of right angles on there it looks it look it definitely looks man-made the problem with it is it looks like the millennium falcon and that's a problem because i don't know you know we could just be seeing that we could it could just be like pareidolia that will that you just jump to millennium falcon you know if it looked like a pinto i don't know if anyone would notice but jeremy shorter for 999 i really enjoy your show i started watching around mid to late 2021 but didn't know you were weekly until middle of last year. I've seen most of your vids multiple times. Keep them coming. Thanks, Jeremy. Mid to late 2021. Uh, Wind Machine Productions. Thank you for that. Lawnmower for $5. Enjoys the channel. Do you believe we live in a simulation? I do. I do believe that. Um, it's not a fringe theory. Uh, it's no longer fringe theory. It's, it, you'll see very well-known, well-respected physicists and scientists that believe it because there's there's just too much we can't explain. Uh, your explanation of somewhere in time, wouldn't that be a simulation story, not a time travel story? I mean, if it's a simulation, then there really is no such thing as a time travel, right? Because it's, it's all part of this. Unless time is programmed in. This is what I mean when, when people are like, well, who, what would it be like if we met the creators of the simulation? It's hard enough to just comprehend how you would program linear time into a simulation. Like, how would you program that? And so people would adhere to that and wrap physical laws around that 
sort of that construct. If we can't even explain the sort of the foundation of the simulation, how could we possibly understand who created it? I mean, I certainly can't explain it. The Freaky Deaky Podcast is back for another $5. I appreciate that. But you don't have to keep tipping so much. Uh, I'm, we're definitely going to check out your podcast. Uh, X Alpha. Oh, just Alpha and Omega. 20 Canadian. Will you cover? Andrina Comb, Deep State, Reptiliana, the Alt alternative three mars landing graphene hydroxide great show keep it up the great content i'm a new subscriber I, there's a couple of things in there i can't cover but there are a couple i can there's mike goad rhymes with toad 499 somewhere in time is one of my wow i'm behind somewhere in time is one of my wife's favorites bit of a crush on uh, chris reeves so much that we will be taking an anniversary trip to mackinac island that's that's a great trip i mean that's that's where the film takes place beautiful there Christopher Reeve, what what a heartbreaking story. Um, here's the same chick, $10. No need to plug our small reaction channel. Well, don't think of a pink elephant. Love your stuff. It's the funniest content on the YouTubes. I don't know about that, but I'm glad you think so. Ooms World 1999, sad face emoji that the time traveler dude was is fake. Thank you, Fish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Prevail, Prevail, 499. Just discovered the channel a couple of weeks ago and binge watched every episode. Great content. Yeah, we love binging. The algorithm loves just leave it on. The West Paul. I see what you did there with the guitar. 499. Do you think government glowies are behind certain conspiracy YouTube channels? Oxford commas. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know that, West Paul. Uh, you know, I've been accused of being deep state, but. They told me I can't talk about it. Justin Wat Watkins for nine ninety nine is the Miss Y Files single. <laughs> no. Now, careful, Mister Watkins. Careful. I'm quick on the ban button. Jason Bemis fifty dollars. The best Thursday night hang since the corner bar. Love the channel, Hecklefish, Mary, Jason, and two Bernie's Mountain Dogs. We've been looking at Bernie's Mountain Dogs. We um, have now, been. We have been. Now, wisely, we're we're not getting one, but they are fun to. It's fun to dream. You know, we everybody's we, yelling at me about Diet Coke now. In well, they the just care about you. They just want you to be healthy, and they know that it's poison. They're saying my organs are going to be gross, but we know that that's not true. <laughs> no, your organs are beautiful. They are beautiful. The doctor said the, so. The doctor said she just has the most beautiful organs. <laughs> All right. There she goes with her beautiful organs. Um, Jason, thanks for that. I, you know, I, maybe we have to do a, you know, a Y Files, a, you know, a drinking stream just to see how actually I might not be, that might not be a good idea. You know, in vino is veritas, right? When the wine goes in, the truth comes out. And what I believe, which, which psych psychologists believe this as well, is when a, when a person gets drunk and they lose their inhibitions and all that stuff with the gabas and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. That person, that drunk person is actually the true person. So if you have someone who's a mean drunk, that's normally okay. It's probably that's probably a mean person just trying to keep it together so they can function. And if you have someone who's a happy drunk, that's probably someone who's a great person who's just a little subdued. I'm a happy drunk. Um, and when I'm drunk, I I just will say anything, and I enjoy saying outrageous things, shocking things, and um, those could get me in trouble. Fa Q Than. Thank you for that. I don't, I don't know what's going on in your avatar. It looks like cats are fighting. Uh, some type of gladiatorial feline combat. Good heavens. Um, there's A, 99. Graham Hancock is just a journalist, nothing more. Comparing Graham ha Hancock to any archaeologist, including Zahi Hawass. Zahi Hawass is like comparing a CNN journalist to Stephen Hawking on the topic in physics. Well, there you have it from A. From A, spending more time uh, criticizing journalists than uh, on his username. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. And But I agree with what he's saying. But just because, look, Graham Hancock's a journalist, but he researches this stuff. 
And his job is to make it approachable and entertaining. And what he does is what I do. So I'm not an expert in any of these topics. What my job is is to go find the information that you're interested in and make it informative and entertaining. That's my job. And I think that people like Grant, Grant Hancock are probably more important for pushing the science forward than someone like Zahi Was, who's done a lot to hold um, Egypt, uh, hold the science back. There's Paul with another $10. Sire Lord, Lord, thank you for that. He's a strict but fair Lord. Kind of what's going on in your avatar there? That's it's dangerous. You're dangerous. You look like a dangerous. It's funny. Whenever I say what's going on in your avatar, I just see, I see everyone just going in, going in. Uh, Freaky Deaky Podcast is back. We need a sequel to World War Three. We're in the middle of it. I agree. We are. It's not not so over yet, but yeah, we are in the middle of a war. Mid Z five dollars. Do a video on the black dog people. The black dog, people see on the highway, well, saw it once, scared the crap out of me. Love the channel. Hecklefish is my hero. If you're talking about the Michigan dog, man, I, I've done that. If you're talking about a different one, put it in the tips line because you know I love a cryptid. Dean Albin, Albans. Dean Albans? Dean? Dean, thank you for the 10 bucks. I appreciate that. Stephanie Stephanie Woodcock. That's not funny. Why? What's so funny? That's her name. What are you laughing at? He's being that you're being sarcastic. The mods are yelling. He doesn't like cryptids, <laughs> like sarcasm. Stephanie Woodcock, five pounds. Hi from the UK. Love your channel. Thank you. And you know, I'm sorry for teasing you about your name, Stephanie. Um, I guarantee it. Right, I wasn't the first person to tease you about it. Any videos in the pipeline based around the British Isles? Uh, yes, yes. We've got um, the mysterious vanishing island off Ireland. That might be fun. And um and Liverpool the Liverpool time slips. Does that count? Daniel Boner. Bonner, sorry. Twenty dollars. You should look into Husuka Castle. <sighs> the medieval castle built to cover a portal to hell. Yeah, I've heard about this one. There are pretty bold claims. You there are bold claims about the the hole in the castle that is portal to hell, and there are bolder claims than this, Daniel? There are pretty bold claims concerning the pit that it was built to cover. Cool stuff. That's a that's a great video. Um, I think that might be on my list, or it's another, or it might be the Tsarina hole. There's a couple of holes on the list, but I I've held back on them because I don't want to be the the secret hole channel because we did the we did the hole to hell, and then we did Mel's hole, and I, I don't I have a playlist of like stories about holes. Um, well, I don't know why that's funny. Uh, the mod, John. Yeah, we'll get to her later. I mean, who, who, the horse state is spend your Sunday. But hang on. What's going on? That's rude. Let her finish her sentence. What was Johnny saying? Johnny Be Good says you look very dapper tonight. Oh, that's Aww. nice. I said it was hair gel. <laughs> who looks dapper? Jennifer? You. No, you. Oh, well, that's very nice. Look <laughs> dapper at my, my dirty t shirt and. And sweatshirt. Just says you're looking cleaner than normal. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I got to be honest, that hurt. Got to be honest, that hurt a little bit. Gene Mars Vital, dollar ninety. When are you going to do an actual real UFO story? Well, Gene, when there's a real UFO. Of course. Super XCN 72 999. Love the show from Chris, Gwen, and Don. All hail Lord Hecklefish, our strict but fair Lord. Need a t shirt with that. Perhaps. CW10. If you do crop circles, you have to look up Dr. Horace Drew, Caltech PhD, who now studies them. Whole different point of uh, viewpoint coming from real scientists. That's great information, CW. I'm going to ask you to put that in the tips line. I just hate to give you homework. But um, but I'm very interested in hearing a scientific viewpoint. Michael Taco throws a hundred dollars into the tip cup. I can't believe it. Ooh, I finally love hearing the phrase "just the tip." <laughs> that's that's rude. Very very much appreciate your hard work, your ability to tell stories, and production values are extraordinary. Thanks for countless hours, of fascinating fun. You're very welcome, Michael. Thank you for the kind words and for supporting the channel like you do. Debiz, Debiz, uh, are you interested in a story which cannot be debunked, by the way? 
Hecklefish, uh, the intentional inner monologue us subscribers have. I swear Hecklefish will say what I'm thinking, your show and topics. Um, yeah, I mean, he's, I do the research and host the show. He's just there for the one liners. So he's learning the stories in real time, like you are, D Biz. So he's often going to have the same comments or questions that you might have. Um, I'm always interested in stories that can't be debunked. Those are my favorite, actually. I love those. This this is not a debunking channel. We're not here to do that. I'm here to find it. Sean Madison. Thank you for the $2. Sire Lord is back. Short vids like Mr. Wizard. Bill Nye with Hecklefish. It's a good idea. Sire Lord. Zeb Francis. $5. Great episode. Did you catch Hecklefish? Ms. Fish, if you're nasty. Glitch a few weeks ago. Tweeted a pic. Turned in writer's app today. Hope to hear back. Well, good luck, Seb Francis. I'm I'm not the first line of defense on the on those applications, but uh, I hope you make it through. Um, yeah, I think I did see that glitch. I think I, I might have saw uh, seen you on Twitter. If you want to follow the Y Files on Twitter, which is fun, is OMG the Y Files. I'm on there every day hanging out. Um, Blue Boy 1968 Chapel Chapel Chapel. $10 Australian, Australian. Great show, like always, but on a serious note, the Third Reich, yeah, it's, don't get more serious than that, put a lot of time and effort into the possibility of time travel with a lot of that research still classified even now, so why? Well, the same reason all the research is classified. You know, there's, I, you know, I don't know how close they got, but, you know, I thought I read that a lot of that, that research was due to be declassified shortly, but I, it'll still be redacted. Um, but it wasn't just the third Reich putting uh, effort into time travel. Our government has done it, still does it. Re there's a tons of papers every year about it. A CIA has been very interested in, in that it, remote viewing. We've got Project Pegasus, the Montauk Project, all that stuff is it has to do with time travel, sponsored by our government. Jay Richards, 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 ninety nine. Thank you for the great videos. We listen to them at work. I look forward to all your content. Pretty new watcher, but a binge most of. Thanks for that, Jay. I'd like to know what you do at work. You know, if you're in air traffic control, maybe put the channel down. But, you know, I'd like to know what you're doing out there. Freaky Deaky Podcast is back, but they've lowered the, the amount, which is fine because they've put a lot of tips in here. Just bring it down a little bit. Uh, our goldfish massages are happy in the end. Now, this is an idea I can get behind. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, Huang, Wang, Zhang, Wang, 499. Our family loves the channel. My son Emilio got us hooked. Well, Emilio sounds like a genius to me. He sounds great. Johnny Waters, CERN, portals, interdimensional. Find Tony Merkel. That, that, that's the way to suggest it. Bam, bam, bam. Do it, do it, do it. Um, and those are good suggestions. Portals keeps coming up. We may have to do portals. But does that kind of does that intersect with tonight's video a little bit? <laughs> Got to think about it. But great suggestions. Thomas Turner, nine ninety nine. Be stoked to see you do a show where you spend the entirety debunking, then end by introducing some hard belief. Just kind of flipping the uh, flipping the format around. Thomas, not a bad idea. Joe Tice, love your work and assisting team. It's these. Have you thought about doing a video on JFK, especially with uh, recently released files? Uh, I'd love to do JFK. As you know, he's my that's my favorite conspiracy, but YouTube throws the context warning on there. It gets not shadow banned. It gets de, whatever they call it, de-promoted or whatever. YouTube doesn't like it, and I, I, I'm, I have to be a slave to the algorithm, at least until I can get further ahead on my production schedule so I can do those videos on other platforms like Patreon. Scribble loops. For 500 of those, hey, long-time viewer, first-time chatter. My dad and I are huge fans of the show. It would mean a lot if you and Hecklefish could greet him in a happy birthday. His name is Walter J. Well, happy birthday, Walter J. Happy birthday to you. April Nobes. Thank you for that. Jeremy Dickman. Dickman. Jeremy Dickman. What's so funny about his name? It's just Nothing. a name. Nothing. Nothing's funny about it, right? You're not laughing at his name, are you? He has a cross and a Bible in his avatar. Don't be so crude. 
I didn't say any. I told you not to laugh. No. How dare you? How dare he you? Has a cro- he has a cross in his avatar. How, How dare, dare you? you? How dare you? Thank you for the super sticker, Jeremy. And I'm sorry about her making fun of your name. She's like a 12-year-old boy about that <laughs> stuff. Uh, Shadow Trooper, uh, can we get an episode someday on your take of the missing 411? Maybe, but David Polites does such a good job that I really don't spend a lot of time on it. And um, a lot of the missing 411s are tragic stories about dead victims, and I don't really cover that stuff. Uh, but maybe the What Files can get into some of those um, 411 cases. I think I think that'd be interesting on that channel. Great Kids Reads, $5. You think the Simpsons writers were time travelers? So many coincidences. I love the show. I'm here every Thursday since I found you. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, no, I don't think they're time travelers. I just think they're astute and smart, and they've produced 25, 30, year, 30, 25 years of episodes, 25, 26 a season. Eventually, you're going to get some stuff right. But I'll admit there's some uncanny coincidences. I'll admit it. Dennis Terry, thank you for that uh, 2799 Canadian. Kaylee Altman, love Hecklefish and your videos. Thank you very Finally, much. Finally, a human who gets it. There's Joseph Brandt. Thank you for that, Joseph. Stephanie Serrano's here. O'Hare85 is here. 3.14. Pi is answer. Pi is always the answer. Hang on. We're being flagged down. <laughs> Well, I want to say Stacy's my cousin. She super chatted last week. I just want to say hi to her. That's Thank your you cousin right there? Well, well, I, I don't know what's going on in her avatar, but she looks sick. Is she okay? It's a puppy that's got his head all the way flipped over, and he's sticking his tongue out. Are you sure? I, I, I'm pretty sure. That's what it looks like. I know you it know, doesn't Stacey- look like my cousin. I know what she looks like. Stacy, don't worry. We can get that fixed. We can get to take care of that for you. The surgery is not even that expensive. Colin Zad, thank you for the $10. My Hecklefish t-shirt should up today. Wear it with pride. Absolutely, Colin's dad. And say hi to Colin for us. Um, when you get that shirt, uh, when you get that shirt, I definitely want a picture of it. Um, Tyler Floyd, $49.99. I'm a fish and I'm a star, so put more dough in my jar. The type of vodka that I need is Belvedere. I need to buy a tinfoil hat, so So please please click click the the super super chat. We all know the government <laughs> is listening. She was like this. Tyler Floyd, thank you for that generous donation. Love your channel. Appreciate the hard work. Episodes put me in a state of thought and ask questions. I know you've touched on Edgar Casey before, but curious on your thoughts on him and his prophecies. Give Hecklefish a shot of vodka for me. I appreciate that, Tyler. And I wish you would have asked that question because you – you such nice words, such a generous tip. Uh, I don't believe Edgar Casey predicted anything accurately. I, I really don't. He's just been, he's made so many predictions that he's been correct about some stuff, but remember he, he start, he became famous for predicting and seeing ways to cure people's illnesses, which is great, but people would write him about their illnesses and he would write them back with the cure, not realizing that they were dead. You know, so who knows? Maybe he was right about some stuff. So we covered him. I don't talk about him a lot because Edgar Casey fans, that's why I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous right now because Edgar Casey fans are really into it and they hate me even saying he gets anything wrong. Like even when he's wrong, they're like, he he was actually right. So I'm careful about it. But if he comes up, Baba Vanga, you're going to like that one. We're going to do Baba Vanga soon. DE, $10, Allegory of the Cave, Plato's Story, Love the Channel, Storytelling. Thanks. That's that's the allegory. Mike Augustine, my wife loves this channel, and now I do too. Your wife sounds like a genius. She sounds like a genius. Uh, I hope that she also has beautiful organs. <laughs> uh, Casey Gates, $10, you seem to be as red as I 
Well, with censorship and everything going on, do you have accounts on sites like Locals and Rumble just in case? Um, the Wi Files is on Locals and Rumble. In fact, Rumble reached out to me not too a uh, couple of days ago. I owe them an email that um, they want to do some promotion of the channel, which I think would be cool. Um, last week's video was their featured video of the day, and it got some good traction on the channel. So we'll we'll see. Rumble's I like all the alt tech, tech platforms. Rumble's good. I really love Odyssey's like their their interface, their UI, and um, and we're on BitChute as well. That's clunky, but we're there. Um, so all the videos that happen here are automatically posted there, including the, the live streams. So yeah, uh, I have a locals account also. I never use it. You know, knock on wood. I try to be very careful with the algorithm. I don't think I say anything that gets us in trouble. I try to be careful about it. Don't want to push my luck. Thank you for that, Anne. I really appreciate that. Can't do this channel without you guys. Uh, what's your favorite scary movie for $5, TJ? I don't like horror movies. First of all, I just don't like them. So, um, so favorite scary movie, it's, you know, that's hard to answer. The, I mean, one of the scariest movies I ever saw is Poltergeist, but I saw it when it, you know, when it came out. So that, that was scary. I don't know what, what, what's this, what's, what's your favorite scary movie? Well, I don't know if he's doing a play on this, but Scream 6 is coming out next month. And that's, they always ask, what's your favorite scary movie in in the Scream movies? I think my favorite scary movie is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Ooh, that's a good one. Because it's also very funny. Right. So Cabin in the Woods would count? Yes, Cabin in the Woods would count. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, as we're talking, we're getting on the old uh, Applebee's. Oh, great. Um, Yeah, so... The, somebody said The Exorcist. The Exorcist is very scary. That's very true. As someone who was raised Catholic, that that was a terrifying movie. Victoria, do you like horror films? Not too much, but I've seen you know the old ones. Yes, Cabin in the Woods. Robert Justin Roberts is saying Cabin in the Woods is so good. It is. That's a good one. Uh, Tucker and Dale and First Evil is genius. Yes, it is. Um, because it's a comedy horror. Uh, I do not like like the torture porn kind of horror movies. <laughs> Those are not my thing. Um, I like the psychological thrillers. Yes. Those are those are good. Oh, there's a great one on Netflix called Hush, and it's the same guy that did uh, I, I oh, Mike Flanagan who did Haunting of Hill House and uh, Midnight Mass, if you guys if you guys know the stuff. Um, and it's great. And it's about this woman who is a deaf mute and she's out in a cabin by herself and this guy shows up. So it's basically got two people in the whole thing. Um, really good. That's a fun one. Uh, let's see. What are people saying in here? Uh, conjuring. What I mean, it, it's, it's $26 for my food. And it's forty dollars to get it delivered. It's crazy. Some, it's some racket, man. It's some racket. Are, are, we, are we moving? On? Are we moving on? We are. We were just chatting while you were ordering your Applebee's. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to order the Applebee's. Well, people are talking in the chat about scary movies, so we were just chatting along with them. Yeah, just enga engaging with the community. That's right. What we do. That's what we do. We should do uh, a live chat somewhere uh, on backstage where we just talk about topics like scary movies and that kind of stuff. That would be fun. Like a podcast? Yeah, like a podcast. Hmm. Isn't there well, enough of those? Maybe we'll do it in the Discord. So you guys that are in the Discord. Maybe we'll do it in on, Discord. We can talk about that. Great stuff as always from Mrs. Y Files. Um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Augustine. <laughs> for ten dollars, I sent it to the top to top line tip line. Uh, but look at, into Paul Matheson's uh, book, The Snow Leopard, regarding his Bigfoot experiences. Love the show. All hail Hecklefish. I'm definitely interested in that. I'm you know I I'm waiting for that clear picture of Bigfoot dying to see it. 
Borland Robertson, thank you for the $10 for heckle food. He does like White Castle cheeseburgers. So molasses is back for $2. We'd love to see a CERN or Harp Theory episode. Harp, I was working on a Harp and I bailed out of it. So maybe I'll go back to it. I was focusing on like weather control and mind control. I think you'd like it. Lone Wolf 999. How about the mystery boom I heard underground all over the world? Oh, the mystery booms heard all over the world and what they were. Yeah, that's a good episode. Um, Maybe tie it in with something like the Taos hum, you know, weird sounds that can't be explained because no one's been able to explain any of that stuff. Lanberto Montiel, thank you for the dollar ninety nine. And I'm sorry if I'm rushing. Apologize. Just trying to get through these for you so you're not here too late. And of course, Applebee's. Paul for fifty dollars, um, just amazing. Oh yeah, baby, slip that in my G string. Oh boy. Uh, simulation theory is just religion for people who want to talk science instead of theology. It may be hundred percent true, but what would you call the simulation creator other than God? They exist outside of reality and created our entire existence. Here's Paul giving you some food for thought. And if you watch the simulation theory video on this channel, which is your favorite YouTube channel. So why not support your favorite YouTube channel by going to shop.thewifefiles.com right now, get some merch from the, no, I'm just kidding. Um, if you watch the simulation theory video, I, I actually, really the whole thesis of that story is that whether you believe in simulation theory or you believe in God, the real question is, what's the difference, right? They're the same. Matthew, uh, Matthew M, for $5, is hecklefish a unique specimen? Or is there a remote pond containing a secret species of talking goldfish somewhere? That is an interesting question. I don't know that because he just came to us from a casting call. Um. Food for thought. Jace Mythic, thank you for the 499. Recently found the channel. Can't stop watching the episodes. Keep it up. You have an amazing talent of storytelling. Thank you very much, Jace. I think I'm I think I'm fine. But I'm glad that you like it. Eric, Eric Santos, Santos, five dollars. Have you ever heard of the UFO abductee Billy Graham? I have. If so, thoughts. Also, just found your videos. Uh, you're amazing. Thank you very much, Eric. I'm not uh the uh, the abductees i'm not i'm not so down with those stories so um i haven't found any abductee story that i that i fully believe there are some that are like oh that's pretty compelling but there's there's none that have sold me on it but again i'd like to believe but so far all we have is just stories now would i what's amazing to me are like the the implants that are found on x-rays we need to look at those i can't i can't debunk those Jill, $10. Thanks for the awesome work. Authentic personality and genuine interest in what you talk about. Keep rocking. Shout out to my boyfriend for my epic hecklefish mug. Sending hecklefish love from Texas. Well, thank you very much. You mean like one of these? I don't know who said that in the chat last week that I was plugging the merch too much, but I mean, I, I hope they're here. I, I would just I would just do extra just to irritate them. Just to, just to, Stick it in there. Just, yeah. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Um, wasn't that that R&B group from the 80s? Tony, 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 Tony. Thank you for the $20 super sticker. Jeremy Dickman is back. Thank you for the $2. <laughs> Stop it. Don't be such, you're such a child. Joshua Close, thank you for $2 Canadian. I'm broke, here's two bucks with a little hearty heart. Thank you very much, Joshua. And look, if times are tough, if money's tight, don't donate to the channel. Just the fact that you're here is amazing. And the fact that, that you watch the channel and that you subscribe, it's enough. Of course, the money helps keep me doing this, but I don't want anyone stressed about dropping in the tip chart. It should just be extra dough you got laying around. Um, Greg M, $10 strong work, brother. Tell me how you achieve such high production value in so short a time. And are you ever concerned for your physical safety considering the topics you cover? The production value is just a matter of I've done it for so long that editing is just very, it's very easy for me. Um, I have good equipment here. I have a lot of experience. And at this point, I have a, a sort of the template and the system down. Like for, for the last year, it's really the same transitions, the same sound effects, the same music for the most part. But so, but it took a year to get there. So that's that's cut down considerably. Um, concerned about my physical safety about the topics? Not so much. You know, I'm not too worried about 
the government or anything like that. Um, you know, besides, I'm always armed and hand to hand, I can handle myself. Ashley Miller, thank you for the 499. The book could be like a weird PA and other weird, oh, Pennsylvania, other weird state books, if anyone remembers, summarized versions of stor- stories or short stories. That's a good idea. Horror stories by state. Bruno on Oahu. Thank you for that, Bruno. Mike Barr is back. LOL, the Y files and chill. All right, all right, all right. Jeffrey Spiegel dropping a, a, a C note into the, the oh, into the tip jar. The et- Etidorpha is Aphrodite backwards. Is the personal account of a Cincinnati based pharmaceutical worker's adventure to the center of the earth through a cave system on land my parents purchased when I was a kid? Total will drop it in the tips section with picks. Please do. That's a winner. All day long, chicken dinner for that one, Jeff. Put that in the tips line and email me as well. Uh Uh-oh, Timothy is picking up your order. I don't like the look of him in the avatar. I got to be honest. I don't like the I don't like the the cut of his jib at all. We'll see. Um, The the doctor for five dollars. Your videos are an amazing source of entertainment and are really well done. Big fan. Looking forward to more. Keep up the good work, my friend. Thanks, Doc. Looking forward to next week's video as well, since I don't have one done yet. And the folks are in town. Going to be a tricky week. Going to be a tricky week. All of them are in town. My folks, your folks, staying with us. It's going to be fun, though. I'm very excited about it. Me too. I'm like so excited. It's going to be amazing. JT, thank you for the $20. Uh, Ryan H, $5. If you do a rum, put a lizard in it or crab cat whiskey crab cat just crab cat whiskey that's the name of a whiskey that's we a whiskey name make right that there into a t-shirt with like a logo even if we don't actually make the whiskey yes crab cat whiskey uh and when we make that ryan keep an eye out for that whatever we make with that we'll send you free you definitely deserve it you earned it jt's back for twenty dollars ten dollars we'd love to see an episode that tells the secret and possibly questionable secret origin of hecklefish I'd like to see that video too. Thank you, Brandon Langley, if you're still out there. And Wyckoff is back dropping more money into the tip jar. Thank you for that, Ann. Dimitri, how dare you with that last name, Dimitri, putting me on the spot when you know I'm moving quickly, trying to get through all these, and you come up with that name? Go ahead and say his name so we can at least get his name out there. Go ahead and say it. CoQT. CoQT is what we're going with. Dimitri CoQT. Dimitri CoQT. Well, ha- Nicely done. Nicely done. Alex Ojeda, thank you for the $9.99. There's Knowles Tucker for a buck. Appreciate that. Everyone look at Knowles' avatar. No sleeves. No sleeves. You got to respect a man with no sleeves. Right? He doesn't have any sleeves, right? Uh, no, he doesn't have any sleeves. He has That's a hat. man. And he's taking a picture of himself with his phone. There you go. That's a man's man right there. Paul, another $10. AJ, the only thing you made me cry is when you got rid of the dancing. Oh, that's nice of you to say, Paul. And just showering me with money. Uh, You know I'm married, right, Ann? I can't. um, (laughs) But, I mean, if you're this rich, we could probably work something out. Um, You know, this one likes Louboutins. Let me tell you, doesn't she? Stop it. (laughs) Uh, William Restrepo, uh, $2 Canadian. What happened to Space Panda? He didn't make the cut. He didn't make the cut. Benjamin Hennon, thank you for the super sticker. There's Aaron Leslie. Just found your channel a few days ago. Welcome to the Madhouse. I've already almost watched all your videos. Thank you. Wow. Um, FYI, fun fact, next week's video is, is episode 100 of the Y Files. Is it really? It is. It may actually be like 103 because there might be some I forgot, but like officially next week would be episode 100. That's that means that means we can go into syndication. Uh, That's not a thing anymore. I don't think syndication is a thing. Casey Gates, light speed is too slow. I hear you, man. I'd like to do a video on constant acceleration engines. Super interesting, but I can't 
find a way to make it interesting for everyone. It's just interesting to me. But what it, it's it's an engine spacecraft that is the engines is always on, so you're constantly accelerating. But you're accelerating for days, months, weeks, years, constantly accelerating. Even if you do accelerate at one g for a year, do calculate. I'll, I'll link to a calculator. The speeds are bananas. You can get to Mars in weeks, days, if you if you go higher than one g. Kevin Via, there is thirty five dollars. Couldn't be here tonight. I'm sorry. Saw it on Patreon. Never heard this one before. Nice job. Thanks, Kev. Kevin, big supporter of the channel. Outsider 1999, regarding the the Jif Mandela, the other brand is Skippy Peanut Butter, not Jiffy. People are, are fighting with me in the comments about it. I just stopped. I just ignore them. They insist that Jiffy was a peanut butter. There's no such product. There's Jif and Skippy. We're conf conflating them in some type of weird pomanteau um, being waved down. Here we go. It's Well, there was a Jiffy popcorn. So I think people think Jiffy and they just hear the brand and they it confuses them. But Jiffy Pop is a popcorn. So maybe that's what they're thinking of. There's Mrs. Wifiles connecting the dots for you. As always, making it make sense. That's what she does. The beer nuts, the beer canutes, the beer nuts, $10. Your show's great. Staff are great. All hell heck of a She's a strict but fair lord. Paul, $5. Thank you for being a friend. I, I can't just be on the Golden Girls now, right? In the back again. Entertaining Pudding is there for $2. Yeah, easy to use the name. I know. That's crazy. Maybe your next leap will be the Leap Home. I never really got into that show. It would, I, and I don't know why, because it's it, it's everything I want in a show. Um, Sparkly Pig. Five dollars. I mean, that's what the avatar is. Lag happens during live shows. Uh, R for speed up playback to catch up. Affects giveaways because video is slower than you in real time. Please remind people beforehand. That's a great tip. That's a great tip that we have lag on the uh, when we're doing the giveaways. And I see it when I would like when I'm watching the chat. I can see the live stream in the window, and it's behind. It's and it's behind by a good amount. So when we're saying, you know, he, one, two, three, draw. We need to give it some more time or wait. David Butt was back. What's your take on the theory that humans originated on Mars? I don't. I'm not. I don't buy into that one, David. I don't buy into that one at all. If there was some um, some evidence that it, Mars had a more stable climate in the past, we know it was warmer. We know it was wetter. But I don't know how stable it was. But if we figure that out, then I'm open to it. But you think there'd be some artifacts there? Um, because. Remember, there's hardly any atmosphere on Mars, hardly any at all. Um, so things would last for a long, long time there. Um, by the way, Mars is completely toxic. We can't breathe the air. The so Just touching the soil, we would get sick. We, you know, it, We'd have to terraform the whole thing. It's a poison planet. We can never go there. Uh, Rob Allen, 499, I almost chalked on my garlic Parmesan chicken when you pecocked. It was far too sudden laugh. By the way, ever hear of Bridgewater Triangle here in Massachusetts? I have heard of that. Rob Allen, I'm sorry that you chalked on your garlic parmesan a chicken, but when a man's got a pecock, a man's got a pecock. Both of these games, five dollars to translate the Hecklefish Russian subtitles. He says, "Here's what Hecklefish says in Russian." It's been translated from both of these games. The first, he says, "I have a lot of secrets, dude." Uh, Griffin Newman, four ninety nine. Can you look into the Michigan Dogmen more? I just believe there is a lot more to the story than they're willing to provide us. But who's the they, Griffin? Like, who's hiding it? There is more to that story. I just couldn't squeeze it all in. Um, I would do a follow-up to the Dogman story if more people had watched the first one. That, was, that one didn't perform that well. Um, there's the meme Dream Supreme for five dollars i don't know what he's holding up his avatar it looks like he's flashing us a badge or something he's uh, his credentials yeah, see see you see the lean that's called <laughs> that's called the produce that's called the producer lean um, uh jesus is here for 9.99 have you looked into the masons they explain the mysteries of ancient egypt and mo of and modern religion and your simulation you have my email now let me know if you need some assistance thanks jesus um i've looked into the masons there's plenty of those rumors and those theories that 
you've mentioned there. I don't know how many of them are grounded, but there's some weird stuff with the Masons. Meme Dream Supreme is back. He loves the show. Send him over to my channel for some comedic relief when they're done here. That's that's what you need. Dude. You're not getting any comedy here. You might as well go to another channel and get some of that. Um, so everyone go to Meme Dream Supreme right now. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share because it really <laughs> helps out the channel. Uh, ha, $10, found the channel two weeks ago and have watched all the episodes already. Such good content. Do you think when we die, they just pull the helmet off and say good game or what? Slightly serious question. Um, I don't think that's what happens. I think when we die, it's just that's your program has ended. Um, you, what's interesting is and a lot of people do this. My wife did this is you in your comment here, you inserted yourself as the center of the si simulation. You, you, you made the simulation about you. Jen may, said the same thing. She's like, well, if this is a simulation that I, I can't believe that that means you're not real. And I said, no, no, no. You just made yourself the center of the universe. Neither one of us are real. When we die, the term, the program has terminated. That's it. And it's sad. I hope I'm wrong by the way. And P.S. Just because we're not real doesn't mean it's not real. It's still our lives. Everything still counts. You know, your farts still smell. Mona, 1984, 1999. Hey, AJ, we love your show. Please say hello to my 10-year-old son, Elliot, who stays up late to watch the show. Taxation is theft. Elliot, you're not still up, are you? Oh, my goodness. Make sure you when you go to school uh, tomorrow, go to your teacher and tell her taxation is theft. Watch how quickly your mom is called into the school. Don't do that. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I used to tell my teachers. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, do you know what time out. it is? Uh, almost time for Applebee's. I know she wants to do a drawing, but I got to get, th I, I want to make sure I get through the names first. Uh, and then, you know, you got to do work before play. Jason Knight, $5. Ever hear of the, or I haven't heard of this manuscript. Uh, probably a hoax. Jason, if it's probably a hoax, it's a hoax, but put that in the tips line because I'd like to do a follow-up to the Voynich manuscript because some things have happened. It's still not solved, but every, every two years, someone says they solved it. So I'd like to do a follow-up on like just mysterious books. Um, and that could be one. What, what's this? Just bailed, just done, just out. And I'm just got to do it myself now. All right. I'll wait. That's too long. DJ Mason, 499. What is the video and song that plays before the premiere? Also, would you do an episode on Cicada 30, 13, 30, 3301? Cicada 3301 is coming. It's already researched. There's just some stuff happening right now with Cicada in real world that I'm trying not to inflame. Um, the song, the video, the song that plays before the premiere it's just YouTube provides it. Someone found it and I don't, I didn't, I should have written it down because everyone asked that, but um, it's YouTube just calls it sci-fi trailer, but someone did find the artist that created that. It's amazing. Hot ZD. How big is your team? What's prep like for your videos? Would love some behind the scenes. The team is pretty much everyone here. That's like, that's the hands-on team. Um, there's a bunch of mods that work in discord and manage the chat and handle the community. And, the, and you know, the, I credit them with the success of the channel, actually. Um, the prep for the videos is just tons of reading and tons of watching other videos. Um, Hot CD, if I had more time, I would go into this. There's more I want to tell you. But we got to get you early next time because timothy's almost here so we're gonna be in a pickle flint harvey thank you for ten dollars love to see you do an episode on the san pedro mummy and the little people of wyoming great show and keep it up put that in the tips line little people of wyoming are they shorter there listen to the ambience for one dollar thank you listen to the ambience nettles with a super sticker i like your avatar some type of space person monster mania dollar nine ever consider a jersey devil episode well i don't really like cryptids but people have asked for that one so maybe you know that's my old stomping grounds i mean new york it's not the same 
I'm from New York. Jersey's different, um, but it's close enough. Listen to the ambiance is back for four dollars, upping their donation from one. Auspensky two thousand. Timothy's almost here. Four ninety nine. How about a story on ancient treasures hidden in the? I'm, I need to. Jen's got to pronounce it for me. Go ahead. They sent this last week when you were doing. Some, sorry, I'm eating potato chips. And Victoria and I were trying to read it. Go ahead. Padmanabh Haswami. Well, that's irritating that you got it in the first try. Tony Welch for just under a pound super sticker. Thank you for that, Tony. Jeremy Dickman looking for some jelly. No. Thank you for that, Jeremy. And thank you for being such a good sport. And I don't know if you're being a good sport. You could be in the chat hating me right now, but because I'm so behind, I'm not even aware of it. I don't get real-time feedback on my comments except for, for stuff like this. That's it. Um, Star Jelly, I covered in a super early episode, like one of the first that I ever did. I covered Star Jelly, and I don't, I think it was the weirdest animals. No, it was stuff that falls from the sky. The, like the Kentucky meat shower when meat fell, rained down. Just weird stuff falling from the sky. It was a cool episode. Clunky, but it's fun. Keith, uh, that's Keith A. A shout out for my lovely wife, Tasha. What's up, Tasha? Who has fallen asleep after watching Tonight Together. Much love and kindness. Well, I'm glad that we're able to um, talk Tasha to sleep. Please tell her I said hi. The Beer Nuts is back for $40. Wow. Um, how at a 50th birthday shout out to a devoted Lord Hecklefish Surf and happy birthday to all those Aquarians out there. Well, happy birthday. Got another Aquarian right there. Woo. She's giving you the woo. That's And that's that's what's known as the Aquarian woo. Jasher999, will you do an episode on the Titanic and JP Morgan and how he ended up canceling being on the voyage at the last minute? Yes, working on a Titanic conspiracy video as we speak, specifically about J.P. Moore. Uh-oh. I got to deal with um, Timothy. With Timothy? But, okay. Yeah. I will read some of these while you're answering the door. Okay. Tony Welch for a dollar um, of those. Thank you so much. Very appreciative. Steve Nickel Chunks <laughs> for $5. Elon Musk is not from Earth. He is the last Martian. Need a Y files on him. Well, we'll just let that stand for itself. Ack Ack for $4.49. Of I'm not sure. Those. Hello, <laughs> can you do a video on similarities between Greek, Hindu, Christian, and so on mythologies? I know a few similarities and find them intriguing. They are really intriguing. There's a lot of, if you've done any type of scholarly research on the history of religion, as, as opposed to like the, you know, the getting deep into the religion, there's what so is many she on about? similarities. <laughs> what, 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 why is she talking so much? Does someone have a question about purses? <laughs> You're so rude. I think it's get a cute purse, though. But there are so many similarities between the stories. Did somebody, somebody said there was a cat. Um, cat. Between the, uh, all the parables and all the allegories across so many different religions, mm -hmm. like the flood myth that we talked about. So yeah. it's super interesting. Um the study of religion, the, the history of religion is very, very fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, Carlos Morales for nine ninety nine. Love your content. I love mysteries, but I also love the way you break down each one. And Hecklefish is hilarious. Don't give him a big, big, big head. He'll need a bigger bowl. I will continue to support the channel. Thank he you, Carlos. Knows what's up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Don't worry about the name. It's Irish. Dahi, Dahi Ohuled. Ooh. Love the show. Any chance on doing the Roswell crash? AJ, any chance on doing the Roswell crash? They did a great job filling in. Uh, yes, a Roswell crash. I don't know. I don't know because there's not much information that's 
confirmed, but we do have some stuff from Richard Doty, which is super interesting, but it's Richard Doty, which if you follow the channel, you know who he is. And if I had more time, I would do a quick recap, you know, like a host should do, you know, for those who are new to the stream, Richard Doty is a former OSI agent who was working on a disinformation campaign, infiltrated the UFO community, created all kinds of lore, including the Roswell crashes, two of them. And, um, it was all lies, but then later came out and said it was all true. So we don't really know. Um, maybe, maybe there's a good story there. Um, a Clado Designs, $5. Aren't we tr all traveling through time second by second? Absolutely, we are. We certainly are. Uh, Tony Welch for two pounds. Much love from me and Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Marley Jane, $5. What if Jupiter wasn't a gas planet? But I love it starts like this. Hmm. What if Jupiter wasn't a gas planet, but instead was a captured, cloaked solar system of its own with a tiny sun and planets concealed within? I The comment, you know, it's getting late in the stream when the because everyone's like, you know, what if Jupiter is just like its own like universe? And it's just like those kind of things. I love it. Um, yeah, I... I, I I don't know how it could be a cloaked solar system with a tiny sun of planets, but man, I, I like it. I thought Gina was signaling me, but he's just waving the smoke out of his car. The weather in Gino's future calls for lots and lots of clouds. Uh, boy, boy wizard for $10. Um, and are they wizarding there in the, in the avatar? Do I see are they wizarding mm -hmm. with their, with their little, what are the wizard sticks? What are those called? Yes. The wizard sticks? Magic wands. Magic wands, not wizard sticks. That's something else. Boy wizard for 10. Wizard sticks. What's the matter with her? Wizard sticks. What an amazing episode. The inspiring message at the end was exactly what I needed to hear today. Much love and great work. Well, I'm glad to hear that boy is wizard. I meant every word of it. I truly did. Sabrina Singleton, thank you for that. Bohemia Bees. $9.99. Another great show as always. Bohemia Bees getting a rousing round of applause from the entire staff. Bohemia Bees channel just exploding. All about bees and Bohemian style. Hank, it wasn't that a Captain It's Neil album? Hank D499, any cryptozoology videos coming up soon? Bigfoot, Skunk Acre, or, or even Ohio Grassman? Hank D, I'm not a big fan of cryptids because I can't find much evidence on them. I, I need to do them because you guys like them so much, but you know, the dog man video did not perform that well. And I don't know, maybe it's because you, I, you were able to sense that I wasn't really into it, but that video had, had some good pictures of the dog man in it. So I don't know. Skunk ape. That's super interesting. I never heard of that. Ohio grass man mean meant something else when I was going through Cleveland, but I'd be in, Interested in finding out what that's about. Mike D, my brother has pancreatic cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Definitely lives so you don't have regrets. It's true, Mike D. You never know when it's going to be the end. And sorry to hear about your brother. That's heartbreaking. Tell him we all said um, that we're thinking about him. Robert Prather Prather, $10. Great episode. Would love to see a longer episode. Uh, nice. I would love to see you, you know, work yourself to death. Maybe have an idea for you and we'll submit soon. Agree on time travel. How come no recent reports? Look forward to next week. Take care. Robert Pr uh, Prather, pray they're looking uh, for me to work harder. Buzz Darkin. I'm just kidding, Robert. I'm glad you're a fan. I I, I like the longer episodes. Um, so does the algorithm, by the way. Uh, they've been on the shorter side lately because I just haven't had time to, to go as deep as I want. So I've been keeping them around 20, 22 minutes. Buzz Darkin, uh, love the channel, must watch Thursday viewing. Great. Dark Moon Princess 89. My husband and I enjoyed your videos. Uh, past tense. They're amazing, and Hecklefish makes us laugh with his jokes. Love your singing, Hecklefish. <laughs> yeah, he this loves human right here. This human gets it. Yeah, he 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 loves to sing. Uh by the way, Dark Moon Princess. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Hecklefish has his own channel on YouTube. I think it's Hecklefish Moriarty. And anytime he breaks out into song in a video, there's usually the longer version on his channel. So if you want to check that out, um, 
Last week he did My Way by Frank S- by Sinatra, and the week before that he did Space Oddity by uh, Bowie. Mike Willis, twenty dollars. My wife's my wife Angela desperately wants a hecklefish plushie. I know. Yeah, we know. We're trying. Paul, did you recently get Jen a professional mic, or did I only just notice it? I'm chewing. She's chewing. Um, that it, I, it's, I wouldn't call it a professional mic. She got it herself. Um, it's cheap. It sounds better than what she was using. But yeah, she just got it a few weeks ago. And this week we added some lights so you could see her pretty face we even did. clearer. I, I keep going to, she's got ruffles in front of her. And so I should know not to go to her because when there's ruffles in front of her, the mouth is always full. This uh, is Corey, 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 her, G. Corey, G. Corey. This is great stuff. Thanks, G. Corey. Ben Q, $10. You're a radio talk show host. You should do a radio talk show type of show. This live chat stuff is pretty good and seems like the videos should be secondary to keep people into the live streams. I, you know, I, I'll do whatever you think you want, you want me to do, Ben Q. I do the live streams because so many people seem to like them. I never really planned on doing these after the first one. I was like, oh, that was a nightmare. That was a disaster. Um, I just wasted, you know, two hours of everybody's time. But the feedback was good. And uh, so so radio talk show type of show. I'm into it. If you'd, if you'd watch or listen. Paul is back for another $5, just showering us with money tonight. AJ, between the lag and the fact that slow mode is on, you might want to let the drawing run a few seconds longer. I don't know if we're going to get to a final drawing. I don't know. Uh, Kevin Mayfield, 999. I love the show. I look forward to it every week. Highlight of Thursday evenings. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, and and look, everyone, uh, everyone, all 6,000 people, look at Kevin's avatar. Look, look, look at his face. That's a man who knows something you don't know. Look at look at the wry smile. He's in on something. He's 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 the canary that ate the cat. No wait, reverse it. Super S Patrick, thank you for the thirty dollars Canadian. Comp comp poo corn poo corn poo twenty six. All right. Um, this username is the bomb. Uh, the shiz uh, bussin. I don't know what the hell you kids say. Yeah, that's comp poo. I think he just wanted me to say it. Whoa, Chase James for ninety nine ninety nine is going to make me read. Regarding the Dulce story, uh, do you think that it is remotely possible that the 2029 population reduction has a correlation with Agenda 2030 and that it's possible the mandated vaccine trend might actually evol- evolve into e- injecting alien DNA like you discussed in the video? Uh, no, I don't believe any of that, Chase. But I like the way your brain works. Your brain is suspicious and suspicious of power. And I like that. Nothing in your thing is real. Okay. None of that's real, but, but keep doing it because well, I can't talk about vaccines. Whoa, because... whoa, 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 whoa. You want to ease up on your opinions there, sport? I know. I know. I want to talk about Pfizer, but. Uh... Hey, but Ice T's in his avatar. So that's fun. Ice T's in his avatar. <laughs> a quick sidebar. I saw Ice T walking. I was in New York. I saw Ice T and his wife walking down the street. Walked, this is a zillion years ago. It's important that you know that. And I walked up to him and I said, Hey, big fan. And I said, I'm sorry. I'll, I almost called you Mr. T. And he's like, Man, I hear that 10 times a day. I was like, Oh. Jasher, 999, love your channel. Would be interesting to do an episode on Donald Marshall. A couple of people asked for that. I don't know a lot about that story, but put that in the tips line. I'll look into it. David Gallick is back. Gallich, Gallick. That's it for me tonight. Going back to the pond to watch tonight's premiere. Thanks for the love. You're welcome. Mark Lewis, 999, a huge fan. Have you ever heard of the conspiracy with Werner von Braun moving to Mark... After the first set of launches, might be a bit obscure, but could be a fun rabbit hole. Huge fan of the work. Thanks, Mark. Um, on the tips line, send me a link to get me started there on Werner von Braun. Yeah, that's one of those guys that anything dark that's rumored about him, I'm probably going to believe it. You know, once a Nazi. Tony Bradley for $10. Have you covered Edgar Casey? I have. 
uh, in a very debunking way. Um, so if I cover him again, I'll probably be a little gentler. I don't know. I wasn't harsh on it. I actually think he was a great person. He helped a lot of people, but I don't, I'm not sure he saw anything. William Gilbert II. Thank you for the $10. Uh, very happy in the avatar. Cheekbones. William Gilbert II is all about cheekbones. He gets those from William Gilbert I. Eric Bishop, 999, love the channel. Does Mrs. Y Files eye muscles hurt at the end of the day because of all the <laughs> eye rolling? Love the channel. Now, that's a good question. It's a good question. Uh, and she doesn't realize she's rolling her eyes so much. She's been in business with me and my brother for forever. And there'd be meetings where she would be rolling her eyes and Gina would be like, can you just tell her to stop with the eye rolling? I'm like, you know, it's, it's rude and people are mentioning it. And Wyckoff is back another $50. Look, I'm married, Ann, but I have to admit Stop. all this money. Uh, I wish you'd look at the Sudarium of Oviedo, Oviedo it's, and its connection to the Shroud of Turin. A friend is writing a book on how the Shroud's carbon dating was thrown off. I'd like to, I'd like to learn more about that, Anne. Um, and I've heard different things about the carbon dating that it was thrown off because um, there might have been a fire in or around where, where the Shroud was stored, and a fire would throw off uh, the carbon measurements because fires create carbon. So I, I'm interested in learning about that. Uh, we've got two left, both from the same person, both for $49.99. Creator of Gods, $49.99, backing it up with another 50 bucks. Mrs. Y File is beyond gorgeous, and that's the way we're going to leave it. Unbelievable that's super nice. chats tonight. You guys were were great. Thanks for putting that one channel over a thousand. That was amazing. Um, that was fun. We'll do we'll do the last giveaway so I can start to wind down from my host voice. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, 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 uh, chill. Uh, there's a there's a Amanda. All right, what's the word? What's the word? The word is Mrs. Y Files is a fox. Oh. <laughs> As one word, Mrs. Y Files is a fox. We'll let it run a little bit because we are <laughs> delayed. We are delayed. Um, let me go to the chat. I was going to say nobody's uh, entering, but now they are. We've got four. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take this personally. Yeah. Out of 6,500 people, we get like six. <laughs> uh, half of them are asleep. No. And I don't know what the delay is. I don't want to check. Right. right in the middle of it. I don't know. We'll just sit here and, and talk. Yeah, the delay is quite a bit because it's a lot. How much? Feels long. Feels really long. Here's how we do it. Mm. No, no. I, I'm clapping and then you were going to measure the delay. I wasn't <laughs> trying to inspire you to dance. <laughs> Who knows? It's speeding on one and going a snail's pace on the other. Speeding on one and snails pace on the and, and maybe that's why there's only this these few entries is because they're just not there yet. Well, it says three hundred and something on the. I'm going right? to check the delay. Um, Can't you see the comments? What's the channel or the Y files? Well, we're and uh, Pharaoh Pharaoh Sam said Victoria is also a fox. Seven, nice. seven <laughs> seconds delay. Oh, we we have the foxiest mods, no doubt about it. There's Lulikins and uh, and Daniel, of course, easy on the eyes. <laughs> Wink spider. How dare you? She's laughing at how dare you? Wendy. Wendy. Daniel? Yes. 
So who's Daniel in the chat? Jackson. Elke, Bake, Bake Bernard is in there. Orvis, Lonigan, Nicole Damagola, Damagola, David Gray, the Napdor, Glenn Norgan, Ray, Colonel Flag, Psycho CPU. So um, Scott, B, <laughs> Scott C says, get some Doritos, Mrs. Y Files. Oh, Doritos are good. <laughs> what? <laughs> they are. I like Doritos. You do. Um, you ready to do this drawing? We're second, yeah, second. Yeah, you can seven. do the drawing. I'm sure your food's getting cold. It's getting cold, but I'm, I I can microwave and such. All right, we're gonna do the drawing. You're seven seconds behind, so I'm I'm I, I'm telling you this from the future. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't make it. Uh there's uh, Jennifer, Stephanie, Amber, Bin Q, uh, Omega Junctus, The Dean, Shannon G, Total Blackout Penny, Third Bike Life, Timmy Q. Timmy Q's the winner. Yay! I was ho I was hoping that Timmy Q would win. <laughs> and he did. That's And that's great. Uh, so people still typing in the word. I'm sorry. We're seven seconds behind. That's so my Timmy fault. Timmy Q... Reach out to, sorry, I was reading the chats. Reach out to Victoria on Discord and we'll get your first and last name and your email address and we will send you a $50 gift card to the Y-Files store, which is the Y-Files store slash shop or shop at thewyfiles.com. Hey, look, I'm trying over here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a long day. <laughs> Three hours and 21 minutes in. So, so that's going to do it. Thanks to everyone for hanging out tonight. Uh, I really appreciate it. We'll see you next week with another story. Maybe I'm trying, um, until then be safe, be kind. And here's Hecklefish. Sounded great tonight. And take care of those waitresses, will you? All right. Everybody get home safe. 
This is Hecklefish. And you know what? I did it my way.